lightning <laughs> and shit. Poof. Hello. How's it going, everybody? Hey, is this shit working or what? I got Korean fried chicken yesterday. It was hella good. <laughs> it was actually better than usual. Every time I get Korean fried chicken, it's like mid. But this time, it was above mid. It had that weird crunchy crust. It tasted like Cheetos, but not cheesy Cheetos. Just the crust was like Cheeto-y. <laughs> and thick. Thank you. Fully surrounded in Cheeto. Online issues, but you can play offline. Yeah, I heard. What's the story? So what's the difference between online and offline? I heard there's no difference if you're going solo. You can even access <laughs> the circle of fortune. Only trading. Yeah, fuck trading. No leaderboards, no multiplayer, no trading. Thank you. Well, whatever. All that shit's for pussies anyway. Uh, thanks, real Dinotron and Simon. And thanks, Noise Boncho. No MTX. Yeah, who cares? Thank you. Thanks, Type R Brian. And we're SK, I of Valle, and Spooky Tater. And thanks, Junior and TMO6, Tomato Brew, What Up B, Brain Dog, Sopo, uh, Tuis, or whatever. Uh. Check if you can play same character in living room offline. What the hell are you talking about, dude? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I can't play this in my living room. There's nothing in there. But maybe he means like if I... Oh, maybe this weird ESL guy has a point in his pants. Uh, what if he's saying if I play offline on this PC... Then I won't be able to play, let's say, on my Steam Deck, huh? A very small point. Hmm. You can? Because I think it's uh, locally stored if it's offline. All of you are focusing on the size of his point instead of focusing on what the point is, dude. Yes, it's small. Um, Steam Cloud. Interesting. Maybe you could Steam Cloud it. <laughs> thank you. I don't know. Uh, did I thank everybody? Hey, thanks, uh, Stanny and Cyter. And let's see, Big Baller Brown and Galen. And oh, this guy up here, Chimp and Corver. Thanks, bros. Hope everyone's feeling good, having fun. Well, in that case, let's play. Oh, so I guess it stops talking when you click off the screen. No problem. Hey, what are you looking at? Rolling for Beavis. Nice try. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Hey, she knows Slav. Thanks very much. Smile. Thanks, Ivana Jerkmanov. Damn, all the lovely ladies hey, are out. <laughs> all the lovely ladies are out today. Thanks, Hella Yeah, and Little Deep Web. Thanks again, Shino Slava and Ivana and <laughs> Bobo you. the Clown. Thanks. Hold on, let me blow out my jam. Be right back. <laughs> I can't get out of iron rank with Cammy because I only play Street Fighter while high. Here's your cut. Man, it's that guy's lucky day, dude. If I wasn't blowing my fucking nose when you made that fucking comment, I would have banned you. Isn't that crazy? I would have. You talked way too much, and what you're saying is worthless. I don't like it when people do that. Uh, so I would have banned you, but because I was blowing my nose, I don't really mind. Isn't that insane? You got so lucky, dude. Crazy. Hey, today's your lucky day. He got a Raiden? Yeah, I know. What a waste of a Raiden. I did see the Elden Ring DLC trailer. It looks cool. I also checked to see if my character is still there. And it is. But I kind of don't want to use that character because it's too good. 
Maybe I should remake that character. Double balding star uh, luck build. Full arcane build up. How's everybody feeling? Uh, let me turn the game on. Let's see. Can you see yet? You can't see, huh? Why not? Nice, now you can see. Thanks, happy boy. And everybody loves cheese and smoke weed. Uh, thanks, Salsa Shark. And Chimon and Pumba. Chimon. Okay, so what do you do? Create a new offline character. Thank you. Last Epoch 1.0. Recommended. Alright, these are our choices. I'm gonna be this guy. He's bald. And he's black. I'm, be, I'm gonna be this guy. Uh, but these are the other guys. This guy looks like a bitch. Look at him. This guy looks pretty cool. Doesn't say their names, though, when you hover them. But it doesn't matter. You can use a pad. Whoa, let's use the pad. Forget the mouse. Alright, well, I'm a, I'm a holy man. So, I think I should name him Tim Lovejoy. What do you think? Tim Lovejoy Jr.? Tim. When I smile. Underscore. Love. Oh, no. Love. Someone accused me of naming all my characters after bigots. <laughs> There's only a couple. MK Mel Gibson, uh, Papa and Mama John, uh, Kevin Sorbo. But I didn't know. I didn't know. Kevin Sorbo, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, Kramer. Oh, damn. Uh, ah, whatever, man. It's a coincidence. Um, okay. Love, Joy. And then underscore, <laughs> capital you. J, R. Oh, should the R be capital too? Uh, thanks, beef combo platter. Carl Malone is a bigot too, huh? Someone told me that. Man, that's crazy. It's like before I name my characters, I have to uh, look at a database to verify. How am I supposed to know, man? Tim Lovejoy Jr. sounds good to me. Let's see what it says. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna be a paladin. Holy man. Game mode, normal. Uh, what do you think this, uh, this means? I want this, right? This is what I wanna click, right? Solo character. Ignore that? Why would you say ignore that? Thank you. Even though if it's offline, how could it be not solo? Means you can't have a shared stash with other characters? Ugh. Okay, got it. I don't want that. This is not solo self found. This is solo character found. So your alt won't be able to use your stash. Fuck that. It's solo character found. Read. Uh, create. I hope the pad support's good. In the Shh. There was darkness. Only terror. Myself. <laughs> and the void. Thank you. I was content with nothing. She dreamt of light, of life, of humanity. <laughs> Would you guys shut the fuck up? In the end. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Mad Roxo, and thanks, Rip to Shreds, and Logon of the Sea, um, whatever, and Capane, and Wookie Vagabond, and Jukebox. Yeah, all right, I'll watch this shit on YouTube, dude. All right, we're in. Um. What do you think that big ass box is on the side there, man? This shit's big. Can I get rid of this? 
Thank you. Um, you guys know how to get rid <laughs> of that? You. I don't need that. I'm solo. Uncheck all stuff. Maybe it's in the s options. How do you get to options? Start doesn't work. Whoa. Interesting. Um, okay. I'll do a button check when I'm done figuring this out. Click the cog wheel again. This. Oh. <laughs> Disable you. chat. Chat is disabled. <laughs> oh. I thought it meant like it's gonna go away. Do you know how to make the whole thing go away? It's disabled now. <laughs> okay. Press escape. That didn't work. Go to social settings. It'll go away once you start this moving. Is peaceful. I must warn them before Raya scorches this place. To It'll ash. go away when you start moving. What the hell? Hey, I don't know my buttons yet. I'm pushing this button and it's not doing an attack. I'm in chat mode right now. How do I get out of chat mode? Dude, I can't attack. I'm pushing square. Hey, there's three more guys now. Escape. Move your mouse? Oh. Oh, nice! Now they're fucking dead. Nice. Good strat. That was a close one. I was worried. Alright. Now I can do a button check. Um, map and quest. Character. Social. I guess you don't need to go to social. Shop. Forge. Oh, damn. Passives. Inventory, inventory, huh? I wonder if there's a quick inventory. That turns your map on. That does nothing. It does something. Oh, left click. That gives you a... Ah, gives you a map. Square. Oh! Nice. Just wasted my fucking potion. Oh! What?! Oh, when the chat is up, start doesn't do this. But when the chat's gone, the start button brings up this menu, which I couldn't access before. Cool, I'm in. There's a game guide too, but I won't need it. Not at my level. What do we have here? Something I can bash? All right. Bashable. What is this thing? A lot of people have already played this game. Which is why I'm excited about it, because so many people have played it. Okay. So far, I'm impressed with the pad support. I thought the pad support was going to be bad. But then I heard that the guys who make this game are pad players. Or at least some of them. I think that's pretty cool. At least it's not made by a bunch of mouse and keyboard nerds. How much is it? I already owned it. So I don't know, but someone told me it's 30 bucks? Which is pretty crazy. You can what? Turn what? What'd you say? You can... Turn on HP bars above the enemies. Uh, cool. In the settings, I presume. I didn't even look at this. Usually games like this have some pretty good settings. Like you can customize. Uh, display health bars over players, display health bars over enemies. Uh, minions. How do you scroll down? How the fuck do you scroll down on a pad? Oh, okay. Uh, a loop filter. Huh. That's pretty cool. Lock cursor and game window. I don't know what RGB support is, and the words under it are too small. Turn on auto compare. 
Thanks, hold on. Uh, how do you scroll this shit down? You push X on this? No? How do you fucking move this? <laughs> I'm using my mouse. Uh, where is it? Oh. Cool. Length of item names. <laughs> long, right? <laughs> Why wouldn't you want long? <laughs> Very long. If you ask me. Oh, man, that guy's back. Get him out. How do you get him out? Just walk around. Disabled chat. Get him out. Hello? How do you get rid of this fucking chat, dude? I moved my mouse this time, didn't I? Oh, I didn't. There's an extra mouse that you can't move with the pad. That's fucked up. So if your mouse is hovering over the chat, you can't move that with your pad. You have to use your mouse to move the mouse. Traveler, our Heoborian allies informed us that you will attend the peace talks. Raya's war has... As keepers, we avoid conflict. He wishes to destroy us and steal a Give me that. legacy. We can't let that happen. Leave. We need Hirot's help. Uh, I did see the Elden Ling trailer. It looks good. It looks like it's got a lot of fire. Thank you. Do I have a... What's RT do? I have a RT. I'm not sure what it does. Just another attack. Dead. Ooh, looks nice. I heard that this update also had a graphic and like animation update too. RT is your default attack? What's square? It's not taking any um, mana. Yeah, this looks really nice. I thought it was gonna look uh, bootlegged, you know, like an indie game. You're on medium graphic settings. Yeah, I usually have to do that because you guys are pretty heavy. No offense. How do you get your inventory? So you can't get to your inventory with one button press? Do I always have to go like this and then like that? Maybe there's a way. But I just don't know it yet. 50 armor. 65 armor. Jack Miller, Fox Green 15 armor. Uh oh, how do you equip it? Uh, hold on, I'll thank you in a sec. Um, why to equip item? Got it. And this one is the same as the one I'm wearing. Square equips it. It says right there, why equip item? Square drop item. Y is triangle. X is square. Oh yeah, crafting materials and idols. This is like charms in D2, except it doesn't take up your actual inventory. But you pick up charms and you use them in this shit. This is a cool game. I'm excited to play it. What was that? Do, do you unlock skills when you level up without um, allocating them? Something just happened. Oh, shit. Yes? All right, then. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Wow. I almost wish I knew what it looked like before, because this looks pretty cool. Fucking horse. All right, this guy packs a little wallop. Now, have you guys seen those videos where people deal with bears in real life? Wow, this attack's good. It's really fast. Man, this bear's getting fucked up. I cannot do that. Stupid bitch. Hold circle. Oh, shit. I thought I had a cooldown. Alright, got it. It's a channeling attack. Uh, damn, those words are too small. Can I make those long? Hey, this game's alright. I'm already having fun. 
Too bad it's not on console. That would be sweet. Hey. Cool game. Damn, someone just got shot. Hey, I hope everyone's smiling out there. Feeling good? I've been having a nice couple of days. B? And it also, the sun came out. It's done being wet. Ah, excuse me. Smile, smile. <laughs> oh yeah, I should thank. You can pause in offline mode. That's pretty cool. Man, my Korean fried chicken yesterday was delicious. It was, I got the spiciest flavor and the second spiciest. I couldn't tell what anything was because the whole menu was in Chinese, which is weird because it's a Korean place. That must have been a bug in DoorDash or something. But uh, I got the hottest one and the second to hottest one. And they were both so good. Super crispy, super sticky, and juicy. I got some rice, too. I didn't end up getting that weird shit that you guys recommended because um, they mixed it with fish cakes. I didn't want fish cakes. You know that weird rice cake shit that you were trying to peddle off on me? Thanks, old uh, Parsifal. <coughs> Excuse me. Thanks, Armored Cutie. And Wilma Finger Dude. Damn, all the pretty girls out. Thanks, Prometheus and Elmo and Husky Chatter. Thanks, Ghost of Elden Ling. Uh, Scorpion Nose, Weedable and Max Luck and Rapid and Duke and Digital Wolf. And also a Rip to shred, Shreds. This guy's name is I underscore wanna underscore jerk underscore men underscore off. I should ban you. Uh, thanks, Capane and Wookie Vagabond and Jukebox Zero. Thanks, Beef Combo Platter and KD Buddha and Parallax and Rowler Towel. Thanks. These names suck. Uh, thanks, Old Lil Yella and everyone. Hey. Oh, man, I should have read that. I don't know what that did. It probably was a shrine buff, right? And ho We got a short spear. You think that's any good? Uh, man, that's too bad. I, hey, does anybody know how to open your inventory with one button press with a pad? Or if that can be done. Base attack rate. Melee damage plus 8 melee critical chance. Yeah, whatever. It can't be done? I bet it can. That seems like a pretty normal thing to expect. I leveled up. Oh, I ran out of juice. And I'm dying. Uh, I play with a pad and I can confirm it can't be done. When you arrived. Yeah, that's really dumb. It was my I wonder why. I can handle Ospricks. I told them to stay back, to let me handle oh. it. No, thanks. Are you also here for the peace talks? That's Ooh. right. Because so am I. Name's Grail. Sounds, Sounds good to me. Come, let me watch you fight. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I just started a quest. Man, I feel like this game's gonna be fun. I like fun. What kind of build are you guys going to start with? Yeah, it looks really nice. Check settings, gameplay, controller. Uh-oh. Settings, gameplay, controller, change key inputs to see if you can rebind the controller. Nah, I'm not going to see if I can do anything. You can see if it can be done and then let me know. See if it can be done. Oh, smack his face. So far, it feels great. And the only complaint I have is what that guy was just talking about—that you can't open the 
uh, inventory with one button press. Uh-oh. LB. Fourth ball. People are sounding like they're pretty pissed about this game not working online. Is it too loud? I think it's too loud. I can't hear anything. Hey, what are you looking at? Rolling for Waldo. I'm not like uh sure, but I, yeah, it's definitely too loud. This is gonna be better. Uh thanks, Turian New Year. Is that today? Hey, happy Turian New Year, bros. Hey, there's an amulet over there on the floor. I think I want that. How long do you guys think, if we were taking bets, how long do you think I'll make it today? Stream duration, I mean. Three hours? Come on, man. I got a good night's sleep. The sun's out. I'm hyped to play this. Three? I'll make at least four. Classic four? Yeah, at least, right? I finished my chicken, so I'm not that hungry, but honestly, I'm getting kind of hungry. So maybe I'll eat a snack. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, maybe I should read those words. Fight through the burning forest. Okay. If you got snacks, I'm betting six. But I mean, the reason I don't stream for longer than that is not because I'm hungry. <laughs> it just turns out that way most of the time. It's mostly because I'm tired of talking. I talk too much, man. Up on the D-pad to play zoomed in. Oh! <laughs> That is hype. All right. Now we're talking. What's this? Uh, plus one potion slot. I'll take it. And I got an amulet too. 11 health. Check skills menu. You can specialize a new skill. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not fucking reading all that shit. I'm an expert at this. Uh, can I already use hammers? Yeah, I want to throw hammers. Where do you start? Here? I think you start here. Hammers travel faster. Double damage. Spiral around you. Iron spiral. Hold on. Just click the specialize button. Whoa, I did. I did. Thanks. I'm just doing this with my mouse. Uh, do I still have a point to allocate? Oh, I do. How many points do I have? Where does it show that? I guess just this? One? No, that's how much you need to access it. Thank you. Okay. Well, that's cool. Hammers travel faster. Uh, do I get to choose what button the hammers are? Right now, they're RB. Oh! And it comes back? Alright, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm going a hammered in. Click on the bar. Click on the bar. Nice, ooh. Okay, okay, deal. So, let's make a uh, square hammer throw and let's make circle that shit and 
What's this? Lunge? What the fuck is lunge? Let's make that triangle. Hey, none of these are triangle. RT, LT, RB, LT. Are you not allowed to choose a skill as triangle? Where is Y? That's what I was saying. There is no Y. LB is your potion. You have to remap? That's really peculiar. Uh, okay. Well, I'll do it later, I guess. RB is hammer throw. So right now, this throws hammers. Circle. Why isn't it working? I can't channel it anymore. Maybe I'm not... I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> he tries. He says, I have triangle. Move the mouse. That didn't do anything. I am holding it, dude. You think I'm not holding it? <laughs> Thank you. I'm holding it. Well, anyway, what is this? That's that. What's LT? Oops, I just used the... LT says lunge, but it doesn't do anything. Let me keep going and throw some hammers at dudes. For some reason, it doesn't allow me to hold it. Oh, you need an enemy? That's not true. Man, you guys sure like to make stuff up. For some reason... Circle is no longer working anymore, but that's all right. I wasn't going to use Whirlwind anyway. I like that the hammers come back. Do they come back to me? They do. So the return trajectory is going to be different than, you know, based on where I move. He's also freezing. Cool. That guy got fucked up. See you ahead. The key for I am they're not guarding the ruins. They're traveling between them over and over. Damn. Potentially we've got the potential of a good game here. All they need to do is do the same thing Diablo did, except not fuck up the loot and they're in business. Maybe make it a little more fun. Quest completed. Experience and gold. Cool. My day's going really great. I'm very excited to play this. This is the first town. Oh yeah, you could push up. Oh, not in town, I guess. Weird. What are these? Library? Yeah, whatever. I don't have all day. I'm Morgan. Nice game. Hey, thanks. I gotta do some thanking. Thanks, Size Matters, and uh, religiously, thanks, Moon King, and Lil Raiden Rolla, and DV, and Dr. Ago, and thanks, Santa Claus, <laughs> Thank and Origin, and, and uh, Parsifal, Armored Cutie, Wilma Fingerdew, and everyone that I didn't thank. Thanks, Mute. I haven't tried this game on Steam Deck, but you know, someone told me it sucks on Steam Deck. Speak with Keeper Lena in the Keeper's Camp. Alright, I will. I am having a good day so far. I finished my Korean fried chicken. For lunch, it was good. Hello, traveler. We specialize mastery point allocations. Well, I don't have any, so I don't need to. You can run the game on your what'd you say? <laughs> Thank you. You can run the game on your PC and Steam. Stream it to play on your Steam Deck, and it runs great. Then you can run the game on your PC and stream it to play it on your Steam Deck. That sounds pretty weird. I've never done that, have you? Oh, this is my stash. Change key inputs, default triangle, 
Is minion attack command? Whoa. This guy knows what he's talking about. Did you order Tobaki? No, because they mixed it with fish cakes. I didn't want that. I just got chicken. Uh, hold on. Let me follow what this dude says. Um, settings. And start settings, gameplay, key inputs. Use the fucking mouse, dude. Key inputs. Uh, gameplay. I don't see key inputs. Do you? Oh, change input keys. Okay. Uh. Um. Hmm. Someone ban that guy. Alright, I'm gonna continue. I'm just kidding, I couldn't figure it out. Too complicated. I'll figure it out later. Let's see what you have. Ceremonial Sunrise Emblem. Oh yeah, Rune of Shattering. Word on the street is you're supposed to buy these anytime you can afford it. They're important. It's weird, now I could spin to win. It wasn't working before. What the hell? Not that I'm planning on using it. What about LT Lunge? Aw oh, man, you could waste your fucking potions in town. Spend your class points? Hey, how teach a man to fish. What the fuck are class points? Passives. Skills. Where is that? In skills? Oh, passives. I didn't even see that. Class points. You have two unspent points. Oh, fuck. Did I want to do that? No? Oh, fuck. What? What? I think I just spent two points! On what? Overwhelm? How did I do that? I didn't mean to do that. I clicked over here and it allocated two points over here. You can get them back. Uh, but that was a mistake, right? Even if I could get them back, I want to know. What should I have done? I didn't even get to read. Should I have picked Paladin? Uh, there's so many words to read. This describes what a Paladin is. You can't unlock till later. Okay, so I was actually supposed to put the points in here. Just maybe not in this. I could have gotten Fearless. I mean, I probably would have gotten this anyway, right? It's damage. Oh, unless I want to get here. Right? I don't know. I don't know how this works yet. The top is your main class. Then you choose the three bottom ones. Yeah, I know that. I know that. But when I click this to see, I wanted to click this to open up this tree, but instead of opening the tree, it just allocated the points here. I didn't mean to do that, but that's fine, I guess. Okay, deal. That damage is for melee, not hammer throw? Are you making that up or are you serious? Physical damage to your melee attacks. Oh, fuck. Someone ban that bad news bearing bitch. So these are two wasted fucking points. Check the hammer tags. Okay. Is this whistling I hear? Hammer throw. 
more information. Physical throw, strength, dexterity. It's not a melee attack. You can respect for free at the first town. Thanks. Is this the first town? Oh, wait. I think I talked to a respect lady already, right? I should go back to her. This guy. Hello, traveler. What up, girl? Okay, so now I can despec. 160 gold? Oh. 20 gold. All right, I respect them. Okay, now don't fuck this up this time. Passives. So, I have the choice between these three. But if I want to get over here, I need to take this. If I want to get over here, I need to take this. The middle one, what's, the, what's up with the middle one? Does the middle one send you to either path? I mean, I, I could read what it does, but as far as pathing, no. It just moves the bar. So if I want to get to, let's say, Aegis, whatever, or over here, I need to put points over here, then over here, and then, wow, four points. This four dots means you need four points in this to get to here. Okay, got it. And then this one... And this one, since it's not linked to the left, you just need to level up the big bar down here and these unlock. So it goes from left to right, I think. Let me know if I'm wrong. I think it goes from left to right. And these are the best Thank ones. Thank you. All right, deal. <clears throat> okay. And these are probably like big skills on the bottom. Rebuke, whatever. Cool, passive points. Um... Huh, cool. So to get to this, you need this. You need one point in this. Armor clad. Uh, let's see, this is vitality. Yeah. Block effectiveness, excuse me. You'll put most of your points into, you will put most of your points into like paladin. What does that mean? like paladin void i don't know what that means i don't like that sentence uh that's an esl hey greetings from america you unlock masteries after you get 20 points uh he means you're gonna put more points into your subclass than your main class so maybe i should save them is that what you're saying or don't save them You need 20 anyway. Too many shit on screen. Uh, I think I'm gonna put Vitality, I guess. Vitality sounds cool. Basically, your decision has to be based on whether or not you want these points, right? So what does this do? Uh, retribution? Oh, it's like a... Up. You can respect points easily. You just can't change your mastery. Yeah, I know that. The top part is shit. Well, I would waste points here to get it because I'm not using melee, so I'm not even going to take that. I'm going to probably take this. Increased health. Two of them. <laughs> Thank you. Resistances are better. Let someone shoot that guy. Well, it's too late now. But I'll get uh, more points and put them in resistances. Um, thanks, LVT Fade and Bard and Chai Town Infamous and Zibian and Astaroth. And my name is not Isaac. Thanks, bros. All right, I'm going to go to the next quest. I like this game's uh, look. Hey, good luck, baked potatoes. Physical res for campaign is top. All right, deal. Can do. Okay, quest initiated. 
Enter the fortress something. Man, that is some small ass font. Can you read that tiny ass shit? Under the map? Enter the fortress gardens. That is small as AF. Is this the fortress gardens? No. Shit's mad small, dude. The font is blurry for us. Why don't you get glasses then? Scrub. And who's us? <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks, Thank B-Brock. Cool, I'm excited. Portal. You can now use a portal to return to town. <laughs> Throw some fucking hammers at these clowns. Fuck you, bitch. So you gotta line them up and then pierce them. And then it comes back. For now, what is this thing? Sentinel Relic? Sentinel Relic? Is this like a slot? A relic slot? Increased minion damage. I don't have any minions, but I got 9 health. Chance to 11% chance to ignite on hit. Cool. Yeah, so far the pad support is nice and responsive. Got a 1% raise at work. Here's your cut. Hey, thanks. Can't tell if uh, you're being serious, but thanks. How much annually is expected for people to get a raise? I feel like that's information I haven't known about since uh, like 20 years ago. 15%? Yeah, 1% seems low. Anyway, maybe that was a funny, hilarious joke. I think I just leveled up. I'm hyped, dude. I like this whole new game. What is this, skill unlock? So in this case, since I'm already using the skill that I want to use, right? Uh, I don't need to care about skills that get unlocked. That's basically the equivalent of some fucking quest reward in PoE giving you skill gems that you're not going to use. Right? You don't sound hype? Me? Well, if I don't sound hype, that usually means that I don't need to entertain myself by insulting you. I'm already entertained. <laughs> if I'm yelling and shit, that means that I'm bored as fuck and I want to entertain myself by yelling at you. I guess I could do that with you, but I'd rather just ban you. Uh, they changed the behavior of the hammer and buffed the hammer. Huh? Huh? Who's they? Oh, you're saying I should go and check out those new skills that I just got? Hey, I might have gotten a new weapon that's better. Melee damage, but I'm not melee. Base attack rate. Spell mana cost. So, it says melee damage, but that's not going to affect my spell, right? Whoa, increased movement speed. Sweet. When did I put, pick that up? Got increased movement speed. You love this game? Cool. Uh, would you like me to link you to a build guide? No. Maybe a loot filter, but I'm just going to wing it. But thanks. I figured, you know, it's probably a good idea to just try without a guide, since it's an easy game, and since I'm an expert. I don't know that it's easy, but I definitely heard that it's not that complicated. Like, you don't need a guide, basically. At least that's what the word on the street is. You probably just have to read. You know what, I forgot to offload stuff. Hey, I think I just got something nice. Let me check that out. It's got a yellow border. Two-handed spear. 
Increased movement speed? Poison res. But I'll lose my shield. Maybe who cares? What's this? Plus one to strength. Why is it blue? Just magic item? It has one stat. Can I not use it? Triangle to equip. I can't equip it. Why not? Maybe I have to unequip the axe. I mean the shield first. Oh, nice. It worked. So now I'm using a spear with no shield. But I can still throw hammers with it. This spear is giving me movement speed, I think. It said movement speed. Definitely impressed with the pad support, for sure. Whoa! That's the lunge ability! It's weird how sometimes it doesn't work. Maybe I'm just trying to use it in town or some shit. Whoa! Alright! So that's my movement ability, I guess, for now. I like these flower enemies. This definitely doesn't feel... I've played plenty of games that are supposed to be AAA titles. <laughs> that feels shittier than this. Plenty. For sure. D4. I mean, D4's gameplay is good enough. It's just made by people who lied and said they are fans of Diablo, but they don't know how to make a Diablo game. It's super obvious to me that the guys who make D4 have no clue when it comes to an actual... What makes a Diablo game good? Like, what makes it long-term, uh, you know, like a real good ARPG? They don't know. They're trying, but they don't understand it. Like, at a fundamental level. Otherwise, the game wouldn't have ever even been the way it is. <coughs> the inventory system... Like, anyone who thinks that inventory system is good just doesn't know anything about Diablo. Hey, man, I don't blame him, dude. If I had a shitload of student debt from graduating from some shitty college... I would lie on my resume too. In the interview, I'd be like, oh yeah, I love League of Legends, dude. I'm a double, triple, platinum, uranium. I play every league. And then they're going to hire me and, okay, let me go play some League of Legends so I sound like I know what I'm talking about. You already got the job. There is really no doubt in my mind that that's what happened. They're just having random dudes make the game that don't know anything about Diablo. They may be good at making games, but they don't know what makes Diablo good. They're like not Diablo players. They're just regular dudes. Dude, pretty cool. Okay, we got company. All right, that hit me. So you want to move away so that the hammer comes back and hits him. So you can get two hits per throw. Bitch. Is that a homie? <laughs> Thank you. I wonder how it'll feel when PoE2 comes out and there's a dodge roll. The dodge roll in D4 doesn't feel that bad to me. I wish it didn't have such a ridiculous cooldown, though. I keep pushing start to open my inventory. Grim Dawn added a dodge. Interesting. Inventory. Uh, maybe I should use this thing. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa, two-handed mace. 
It's all melee damage though. Melee attack speed. The one I'm using now has poison res and movement speed. Maybe I'll just leave it. What does this mean? Oh, they're highlighted when they're new and you haven't looked at them yet. So inventory full of shit. Oh, plus 10 armor. Where that? An inventory full of shit. What do you guys recommend? What's like the loop? What do you recommend you do with it? Sell it or some kind of other scrapping type of mechanic? Just don't pick it up? Oh. So don't pick up any white items? All right, deal. Right now, like even off the, at the very beginning of the game, you, you would filter all items, all white items. That's nah, kind of cool having that pierce. It's kind of fun. What do you have to say? Uh, I think I just activated a side quest. Drop items you, unless it has good affixes, then you want to destroy it for shards. So everything in here is not even worth selling. Just throw it on the floor. There's no selling. Got it. So I'll get rid of all the white items first. And then I'll deal with the rest. There's also a sort mechanic, right? Uh, sort items. Damn! Dude, POE doesn't have that! God, why not? <laughs> why not, dude? Sort items! Yeah, these guys are packing a fucking wall up. Hey, what the hell? What did I just do? Uh, what'd you say? When you get shards, runes, glyphs, you will hit the transfer button. Oh, yeah. Um, in your inventory, right? It's like an auto... This, transfer materials. So it just sends all of your crafting materials automatically out of your inventory into wherever the fuck they go. I saw that. Someone new here? Hey, this stream is not open for new fans. See you around. Oh. Fuck. Can I lunge out of here? No. Oh my god. That's tight. Satisfaction. The storeroom down there. It's telling me to go. Oh, that's the side quest. The blue one's the side quest. I wonder if any of these uh, barrels are worth breaking. Is it already really break time? Hey, thanks Gunslinger for the tier 3 and ML Jesus and Frankie Zappa and heh and Regis and Office Guy and Panda Samberg and Brock and Baked Motatoes. Um, I got my first unique out of a barrel. What? That's the kind of shit I like to hear. I like breaking barrels. Maybe I should uh, pause and take a quick break. Not a bad idea. Yeah, I like barrels. Barrels are sick. So far, so good. What would you guys say? I mean, obviously, we just started playing, but what do you think? Solid game. Pretty good so far. Yeah, me too. I mean, obviously, just started. Agree the game. Serious <laughs> fun. Thank you. Me too. Uh, thanks, Karaki Yubi and uh, Gunslinger. Thanks again for the tier three. Okay. Break time. I'll be back in five to seven minutes, of course, and then I'll continue. Lightning! <laughs> and shit. Poof. 
Yon seal seen the Elden Ring trailer? I think you meant to say y'all, right? Was that a typo? Damn, the N and the L are really far away from each other. I don't know how uh, you made that mistake. But it's like two and a half letters away. Mm, thanks, Armando and Cheo and Tony and Kiraki Yubi. Thanks, bros. You got your first unique out of a barrel? Come on, man. Now you're going to get me to break every barrel. Give me a unique. Got a couple barrels. Oh, one gold. That's basically just as good. Damn, the barrels are pretty nice. They have, like, apples and shit in them. I'm chilling, man. Did I just go out the wrong door? I think I already came in this door. I wanted to get the barrels real quick. There's ha stuff happening in the load screen. Whoa, barrels respawn? I think we just figured the game out. Barrel farming. Barrels resp respawn. <laughs> Thank you. Damn, they just fly out of nowhere, huh? Damn, packing a wall up. I'm so curious what it looked like before this update. I definitely turned it on once, but I don't remember how much it's improved. I heard that it looks way better now than it did before, and to me it looks good. Intelligence shard. That's for crafting, right? How do you like, can I pick up? Oh, nice, with the D-pad. Hey, you guys are pretty smart. You can hover over an item with your pad and then push down and up on the D-pad like PoE to pick up specifically what you want. The lighting was shit before 1.0. Interesting. This reminds me of like more old school. Why is there two gold here on the floor? What the hell? Thank you. Is this a bong? A bug? Bong? Uh, thanks, Pen Draken. That's mine. <laughs> Someone shoot that guy. Calling dibs. Yeah, so far so good, man. I'm gonna go pick some oranges. Maybe not today because the sun's probably gonna go down soon. Got some boots. But now that it's not raining anymore, I'm gonna go get some oranges off the tree. Stupid rain. Cock blocking me. That Elden Ring DLC trailer got me thinking about how I want to play it, and I think I do want to start a new character, but I want to redo the double balding stars. Because I don't think I like any other weapons in that game. So what I'll do is I'll just redo the double balding stars. I don't know. The only reason I say that is because the character that I have right now is like level on 157 or something. Isn't that going to be... Like, too high? Maybe not. Maybe, like, you know, Miyazaki's a little bitch. Maybe he'll make that shit really fucking hard, like the Bloodborne DLC. Ouch. Stand down. Throw the shit at the fucking guy, dude. Pendejo. I've ever done in my life. What did he drop? Health potion. 
Health on kill shard. Okay. Uh, don't forget about your passive skill points. Where, uh, where on the... Oh, is it the brain? Thank you. It's the brain, right? That tells me that. What's that mean? There's like a plus red thing on the left side, and then there's a brain on the right side. Uh, let's see. It's weird when you pull up your wheel, it doesn't show you like a star on which one of these you should go to. Don't you think? Shield bash. I don't have a shield. Lunge. So I have two points to allocate, and I could get this. Uh, hammer throw. Hammer does not return. 35% chance to deal double damage. You can also do, use up on the D-pad to navigate menus rather than using the analog stick. Cool. Like a regular pad support. That's interesting. So you have to take this to get this. Plus four mana cost. Spiral around you. Catapult. Additional hammers? Thank you. Uh, how many points do I have left? Zero. Where does it say that? <laughs> I can't tell. <coughs> it said it up top under the skills. Okay. Cool. So I get two extra projectiles. Hammer throw deals more damage. Minus one mana cost per point. Cool. Is this a good game when stoned? You have to read a lot. You may struggle. Whoa. Cool. <clears throat> you tell me. Rest well. I wonder what the difference is between these two options. Go back to camp. Never mind that rest well. Passive point! Confirm. I got a passive point. Passives. Unspent points four. So, <laughs> thank you. Someone said earlier that resistances are good, but this is not physical resist. This is fire resist. What do you think? I'm open to your suggestions. Um, do not community. Oh, you're making fun of that guy. Fearless. Juggernaut, Void Resistance. <laughs> well, the, these are the only two options I have, so you might as well sprinkle a couple points into that. Okay, so now I have access to this. Oh, what? Didn't I just have four points? Where did it go? What? I did not authorize points to be put in here, did I? You put two in each, but I didn't actually physically do it. Is that a bug? Remember earlier that happened earlier? 
But it, I, even if there's no confirmation, I didn't hover over this skill. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't miss. I didn't even miss. Respect them in town. Yeah, I understand that, but I'd like to prevent this from happening again. Like, you know, figure out what my mistake was. Don't use analog. Interesting. Interesting. You might be right. Thanks. You have to use the D-pad in the passive menu. I got a passive point. Okay. Let's see how we could do this. Okay, so D-pad in the passive menu, for Christ's sake. Uh, armor clad. Increased damage and stun avoidance. Armor. Damage taken from nearby enemies, 2% per point. Uh, what do you guys think? Armor clad is nice. Yeah, that doesn't sound bad. Damage reduction. Okay, so now I gotta get back to town. Can you... Can, how do you just go back to town? Is that a thing? Like a portal? Whoa, the screen's shaking. Maybe one of your items adds points to that. Whoa, it worked. This guy said right stick push. Right stick push worked. Right stick push. Okay, so now I gotta go talk to the brain and have her correct this stupid mistake. Hello, traveler. Hey, what up, girl? Uh, undo this shit. 20 gold. And this too. Huh? Consequential. Oh. Uh, well then just put it in here. Oh wait, I gotta do it like this. Passives. And, oh, don't use the, the right stick. Okay, that's good. Now I can remove that shit. From, oh, don't use the right stick, you pendejo. Okay. Respect one point. So now I have an extra point to put in. I fixed my error. So, if I put another point in this, that could take me here. Valiant charge. Is that good? Oh, use the D-pad, pendejo. Get this fucking thing out of here, stupid mouse. Um, it's jungle. Jungle's good, isn't it? I could also get this increased damage. Damage sounds important. Relentless. Uh, you can also save points, can't you? But I don't know if you want to. All right. Oh, don't use the, d the right stick. All right, I picked that. And now I'm out of points. I think you have to put 20 points into your main tree to then be able to access the paladin shit, right? You need 15 points to go to the next row. Got it. All right, back to business. 5% damage on each hammer. They don't come back though. Cool. Looks nice. Better than I expected. The sound of the hammer sounds like the sound of um, the guy that throws Captain America's shield. The vibranium or whatever. Sound makes such a big difference. I feel like a big part of Bone Shatter is the sound it makes. In PoE, I mean. I got a bunch of... Oh, it automatically loots all of the crafting materials when you just pick one up. It automatically loots all of them. That's pretty cool. 
Um, too bad you can't just push one button to get to your inventory. That would be cooler. Melee void damage. Chance to ignite. Melee damage. Chance to ignite. Stun chance. Spell damage. Hey, this is... The thing I'm using is a spell, ain't it? Uh, equip that. Oh, and then... Uh, transfer materials. Nice! I like the animation! Is this a two-handed weapon? No, it's a one-handed scepter. Why no Tekken 8? Yeah, it's a two-handed scepter. Uh, thanks, Yadik, my ass. Thanks very much. And Conran, and Implied Gold. And thanks, SF Johan, and Mellow Taco, and Money Machine. Thanks, Big Boss Lebowski, and everyone. <clears throat> uh, I could put another scepter on, I'm assuming. Stun chance. <laughs> Thank you. That's not possible. That's not possible. Well, I don't even have a shield. What happened to my shield? I got rid of it. Tarj! Tarj. Tarj. I got it. I haven't decided on big dinner. I'm open to discussion. We can have a little discussion about big dinner. Um, I guess I could just kind of eat a sandwich. I have uh, sandwich stuff. I bought four croissants, a four pack of croissants from the grocery store. I'll probably eat that. I like this guy's hair. Uh, thanks, Gyro Dumplings. Is that real? Get real. Gyro Dumplings? Fuck this guy. This guy's a bitch. Get real. Thanks, Gyro Dumplings. What's going on? Is this a fight? Looks like it. It's possible that it's like a pet peeve of mine and not everyone agrees, but to me being asked why is like what do you want to fight? What do you mean why? But maybe it's a different you know, maybe it's like different for everyone. I don't like being asked why. <laughs> Figure it out, bitch, on your own. Just want everything spoon fed? Don't ask me why. Mana is like totally a garlic non factor so far. <coughs> Hammer throw doesn't scale with spell damage. I should probably look at that. Thank you. I did look at it, but I forgot. What's beer? I just noticed beer. It won't let me pick it up. Maybe beer is like potion. Uh, like in real life. Thanks, just dodge, bro. I picked uh, Paladin. Or no, what's it called? The Sentinel. I want to go hammer throw Paladin. Thanks, IMB and FN Wookie and just dodge, bro. Thanks. Let's hold the first reinforcement. So, what do you mean here? It's a four out of it. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's get out of here first. Escape the keeper's vault. These beast dogs are hardly worth it if you don't know why. So you're telling me that the shit that I just equipped, whoa, twenty percent chance to bleed. That sounds pretty good. Wear that. What the hell? Okay, that's even better. I heard that um, any kind of damage over time, even if it's not a part of your build, is good during the campaign. 
So if you get like chance to bleed or ignite or something, it's just good. Ah, excuse me. Bleed is the best. Cool. I really hope this turns out to be like a good game. I suspect it is. Which is awesome. Especially after D4 being such a dud. I didn't even bother ever playing any of the seasons. I only played it when it first came out. And so far, none of the seasons have ever done anything that even comes close to fixing the game. Like, they are, it feels like they are not even in touch with what's wrong with the game to be able to then fix it. Uh, how do you do that? Oh, gotta go up. Next season will fix the game. Yeah, sure it will. They don't even know what's wrong with it. Like, they can't figure that part out to fix it. They obviously haven't identified the problem. Even though it's like right in their noses. But you know one thing I do like about Diablo 4 is the way everyone kind of gets behind talking shit about it. It's like we can all agree on that. Kind of feels nice to agree. Dodge rating, increased spell damage. So you're telling me that hammer throw does not increase with spell damage. Let's see. It says right there, physical throwing attack strength and dexterity. You're right, so it's not a spell. The physical throwing attack. Alright. I assume you'll get throwing attack damage at some point. What's this say? Oh, grants 100% life and mana. Cool. Give me that sword. Ooh. Give me that too. Give me that. Um, oh. Not bad at all. Oh, yeah. Up. Hey, why isn't it working anymore? Earlier when I pushed up on my D-pad, it zoomed in. But now it's not zooming in anymore. What's up with that? Hentai X-ray vision. What are you, fucking stone? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, kid. Mm, damn. Nice tree. That tree looks pretty good. The animations look better compared to the beta. I mean, I didn't know what the beta looked like, but this definitely looks... Good enough for me, for sure. I got zero issues. Level 8. So don't even pick up these fucking wands and shit, right? It doesn't matter if they're blue or purple or I don't even give a fuck. I'm not using a wand, so don't ever pick it up. I guess unless you want one of the stats on it, right? That's one key factor. Like, it could have a stat on it that you want to rip later for your own shit. Melee damage, melee fire damage, cold damage, chance to chill. Melee... Oh, melee... Oh, this is melee physical damage. So if it's melee physical damage, even though my skill is a physical skill, it's not gonna count. I haven't found any kind of damage that's throw yet. Throw. Throw damage. Yeah, loot filter is pretty easy to do, actually, I heard. Maybe I should just do that now. Let's see. Settings. I'll use my mouse. Uh, I bet you I could figure this out. 
Um, excuse me. How do you do this? You'll take that bet? All right. Well, it's on now. Uh, um, it's on now. Uh, hey, get rid of this. Uh, settings. Oh, Lou filter. Manage Lou filters. Create a filter. Create new filter. Title. Uh, new filters. Uh, uh oh, new filthy. Let's just go new one. New one. New one. Okay. Now, uh, why is that in the screen? Okay. So now, um, let's make it red. Or pink and give it a skull okay so now we got new one pink skull edit oh no too heavy. it's too heavy. too heavy what do you fucking mean too heavy dude what are you talking about uh, add rule uh, what do you fucking mean too heavy, dude? Hide. Add condition. Condition. Rarity. Properties. Normal. Update. Update. Get on, bitch. You see that? Who was that moron that said, I'll take that bet? Um, add rule. Add condition. Rarity. Uh, hide. Magic. Add. So now it's not going to show magic or... Normal items. You can all do all of that in one rule. Oh. Cool. Uh, thanks, Billy Hoyle. Damn, man. Thanks for the generosity. Very nice of you. Thanks, Max on Live and just Dodge and Gyro. <coughs> Make rules to show the affix of throwing damage. I probably will eventually. That's cool that all that stuff is built in game. I feel like all the PoE devs, they always say we don't want to do it because it's not going to be as good as the ones that already exist. But to me, it doesn't even matter because not doing it makes it so that so many people don't even want to fuck with your game because it's like, dude, nobody wants to go to an exterior source, you know, like. People want to just play the game. It's really difficult to imagine why they would, on the one hand, say, oh, we want it to be immersive, and that's why the items have weight. Like, big items take up a lot of space, and little items take, like, okay, that's the same philosophy of immersion. Then why are you making people leave the game and open another tab to create a loot filter? Like, it's even worse than, it's like, nobody even wants to do that. People want to play a game. They don't want a job. It should be in the game. I think it should be in the game. Loot filter. <laughs> Thank you. This guy says, I like using third-party programs. I'm not saying you shouldn't use them. I'm saying there should be a base version of it in-game. In the case of loot filter. Like, yeah, okay, fine. third parties better. You like using them, fine, but... The game should include it. Just base, like a standard, basic loop filter. Like this. That 
That looks pretty cool too. The waypoint. Wow, this is the first time I've seen this. Are these like locations I've been to? No, right? <laughs> they can't be. The blue ones are. Town. Town. The blue ones are. Oh, I see now the little star inside the location are the ones I've been in. Pretty big ass map. Wow, really big ass map. Can I zoom out? Oh, okay. I got even bigger. Cool. I'm sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure the epoch's safe. RB and LB change area too. Huh? Divine area? Imperial area, ruined area, end of time. So it's like the same map, but it's like a different time. Oh, era, not area. Oh, it's a time travel thing. Cool. I didn't know that. End of time? That is cool. So which one do you think I... Sh oh, look. There's like a little diamond next to it. This is the one I'm at now. Cool. Whoa. That guy kidnapped the old guy. Nobody seems to care. Alright, I didn't even like that guy anyway. Return to Keeper's Camp and speak with the Keeper, Liana, Lena? Yeah, that guy was a bitch. Oh, treasure. Nice. So those shards are crafting materials that you can use to get those specific stats. So like if you need int, you use an intelligence shard. Cool. Uh, so I'm headed here to camp. No, this one, look. This one's shiny, but this one's circled. Brew. Travel. You have to click this. Hello? That's where you're at now. Okay, this, this this blue thing is not where I'm supposed to go. It's where I am. This is where I'm supposed to go. A is X. It says travel. Click on the yellow gem. When you say click, do you mean, uh, oh, so you're not moving the mouse. You're moving, there's two mouses. This is fucking weird. Okay, so we got a mouse and we got a crosshair, two mouses. Okay, got it. So you need to move the circle, not the mouse. Makes perfect sense. Nice. Figured it out. Eris's worst nightmare, I know. Two mouses. It's blessing. Ah, no problem. Be with you. It's blessing. Be with you. Uh, let's see. I have passive points. I kind of want to try selling stuff. So you probably have what is this guy? Uh. Oh, maybe this guy.
Okay, perfect. Mage helmet. Physical resistance. Damn, that's a good helmet. So I can't wear this. Requires level 3 mage. What a bitch. This sells for 9 gold. So gold is like... You pick it up. You don't sell stuff for it. 9 gold is no gold, right? Increased mana regeneration and health regeneration. Can I equip this? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, sell that. Okay, transfer materials. What's this? Glass catalyst. Offhand catalyst. Three int. Ward. Chance to slow. Void resistance. Fuck it, wear that. And sell. Maybe I should keep one shield just in case. I don't even want that. Mm. Spell mana cost, spell damage. So my shit is not a spell. Minus three mana cost. Lightning damage, fire damage. Cast speed. I think I might wear this. And you know this is a blue item. And I already took off. Oh, you can't wear it. Can I not wear it? Oh, fuck. I just sold it. Wrong button. Well, I didn't like that fucking wand anyway. That shit sucked. There's a buyback at the top. Oh. Which one was it? This one. Give me that. Okay, I bought it back. Physical resistance minus armor. Sell that. Sell that. Dexterity, physical resistance. That's good. Uh, equip that. And sell that. And that. Sell all this shit. I hope. Fuck it. Alright, I'm ready to go. Oh wait, I have passives. <coughs> uh, let's see. I could get this. You have to get this if you want this. Aegis of Renewal. 25% chance to gain health whenever you block. I mean, what are chance to block hits. Up. Oh, D-pad. Thanks. Uh, hey, thanks. Will Smith eating spaghetti and Basado daycare services. Thanks, strict no mungo policy. And blame the imp. And thanks again, Billy Hoyle. Strict no mungo policy. No mongos allowed? Um, let's see here. I could put more into this to get increased damage and that'll send me towards this. I think I want damage. Let me get damage. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was... Huh? Fuck! I used the D I used the analog stick and it gave me a point here. Oh let me go talk to the brain. Hello, Traveler. I didn't fucking authorize that shit. I don't want this point. Take that shit out. Oh don't use the D-pad. I mean the analog. No, no, don't do that. Oh I think I just did that too. Oh fuck. Okay, don't use that. Use this. Okay, I think I fixed it. Dude, why the hell is it like that? The D-pad doesn't work. Whatever, I don't give a fuck. I'm supposed to talk to someone here, up here. Dude, these fucking letters are very small. And there's two mouses. Everything okay? Yeah. 
That must be Orion and us. What happened? That must be we have to camp. Are you sure? Your wolf stay safe. Boy, she likes to talk. Hey, I got another passive point. Nice. Ooh. Something just unlocked. Not sure what. What does this mean? Oh. Oh. It goes directly to where you want to go. Lunge. Shield bash. Shield rush is what I want. Rebuke. What do you recommend? Whoa, what the hell? Something wrong with the chat? I can see what you're saying, but it says reconnecting to the chat room. What the hell? Stoned. Rebuke is pretty cool. Rebuke. All right. Rebuke. One unspent point. Generation increased. What is going on here with this box right here? <laughs> what is that? Is that supposed to be there? I don't know. Oh, the previous D-pad. That is what it is. Weird. Okay, D-pad. It's a secret skill. Mm. Health regen. I wonder what direction is good. Like, you kind of have to know which one you want to get to get it. But, uh, yeah, you can respec, of course. This is a channeling skill. You're never going to use it with hammers. So why the hell did that moron tell me I should use it? What? What? Hey, expert, what do you recommend? I could undo it, right? It's a panic button with good damage at the end. Weird. I already have lunge. You mean I should have put points into the lunge tree? Cool. Alright, well, I'll just move on. Oh, wait, I didn't use my point. A passive point. Alright, up, oh, don't use the analog stick. So I guess I'll put it in this. Nice. All right. Satisfying sound effects. I like that. <clears throat> Are you guys going to play your old character for the Elden Ring DLC or will you make a new one? I'm on the fence. New, new, new. Probably new. The game comes out in June, right? I mean, not the game. The DLC comes out in June. So you're going to have plenty of time. Oh, a bunch of people are going to play their old character? I feel like it might ruin it. But maybe not. Because my old character kind of sucked, right? So maybe it, I'll not ruin it. Put like 150 points into a useless stat just for fun. You can respec old characters? Completely? In that game? I don't know if I knew that. Wow. Cool. Damn, so I'm already filtering out normal and magic items. That's pretty sweet, man. Can't believe that's not in Diablo. Uh, block chance, block effectiveness health armor those seem pretty good 
Increased physical damage. Damn, I think I should take that one. Uh, Alright, I did. This is a two-handed axe, so forget that. What's this? Melee damage. Fuck that, too. Cool game. You know that rebuke that I just got? Could I have put that point into hammers? Like I just used that rebuke skill, right? I, no, why not? Like, what is it a specific type of point or something? It's a separate tree. Oh, got it. So it's a different type of point. Skills level up individually. Thanks. Good to know. And they all have their own passive tree, so that's just a passive point for that skill. Gotcha. Damn, I hope this runs okay on Steam Deck. I heard it doesn't. But I haven't tried it myself. Ouch. Beautiful. Give me that. So you can still see the blue items on the ground. Is there a button I can press to show that? Oh, fuck. I better not have limited portals. Uh, is there a button you could push on pad to show hidden items? Unlimited portals. Sweet. Oh, fuck. Uh, let's see. LT is lunge. RT, circle. I'm not using circle, so let's make that. What's shield bash? Rebuke. Circle can be rebuke. Not do that. Why not? Oh, it has a cooldown. So that's rebuke. Alright, pretty cool. Going in the portal resets the instance if you go back. Really? Huh. So is that how you... Well, wait a minute. What if there's an item on the floor and then you go in the portal? The item's gone? Whoa. Really? That sounds interesting and weird. So, you gotta make sure you pick that shit up, huh? I leveled up. Sweet. So, I wonder what leveling up means. Let's see. <laughs> Thank skills. You. Do I have a... Oh, look at that! I got all kinds of skills. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I have uh, one point to put into something. Uh, is this two extra projectiles per point? No way. Unless they spiral. I can make them spiral, right? Skills level, like gems in PoE, top left is the progress. Yeah, I saw that. That's pretty cool. Uh, Nova. <laughs> Hammer Vortex. Oh, yeah, remember D-pad. Thanks. 
Well, I guess I can look at the skill with this. Just don't select it. Thanks, armor. Uh, no way to unspec out of skill levels without losing XP. Yeah, but you get what you're supposed to do is like you're not supposed to unspec skills until you reach these thresholds because there are catch up mechanics. So when you D level a skill, you lose experience. But if you waited till you get to this threshold, when you gain it back, you gain it back faster. So it's like uh a catch-up mechanic the minimum level that it resets to goes up as you level yeah yeah basically cool uh iron spiral zealots whatever deal double damage you know i never liked you rip do you like gray poupon yeah i do I like all types of mustard. I can't even think of mustard that I don't like. Uh, thanks, Meki Maru. Uh, thanks very much. Meki Maru is a bitch. Weird. Uh, break time cupcake. I got my online character to level 4 and can't get back in. I didn't even know online was working. Thanks, Makoala and Armor. And thanks, Malaketh and... Spaghetti. I'm chilling, man. Trying out this new game. It's pretty fun. Hammers are now thrown in a Nova. I wonder how, which one of these is best. Hammer throw deals more damage. And costs less mana? That sounds pretty good. But I don't need mana right now, do I? I think I want more projectiles. Okay, so use the D-pad to select it. Hello? Okay, there we go. Uh, select it. So two out of two. Awesome. Now this has some points to spend. Um, is it? Uh, so like, let's say I don't want this this skill, right? It's called Rebuke. What are my other app options? Like, what, what else can take this slot for Rebuke? Any other skill? So I want Lunge, then. How do I do that? Do I have to go to the brain to talk to her? No. Go to the tree. This and this. No, it's not letting me. D pad. Respec. Uh, removing skill points. Despecializing skill. Remove points. Two unspent points. Oops. Skills. Despecialized skill. Respec. Despecialized skill. Despecialized. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to do lunge. And then I'm going to select it. Oh, use the D pad. Specialize. You do that up here. No? Why not? Okay. It, it was a little bugged. <laughs> it wasn't letting me, dude. I tried a million times. I had to move the mouse to it. There's some issues, you know. There's minor issues. Two mouses. Uh... Melee attack. I don't want that. What's this? Lunge's final hit has a chance to apply frailty. You regain a percentage of your missing health. 8% per point. You're invulnerable while lunging. So it becomes like a blink skill?
Cool. Uh, Alright, well, I'll just pick this. Alright. I think. And one passive point to spend. I think I'm gonna go for, I guess, armor clad? Bomba clad? Or I could get more damage. Damage is cool. I'm getting damage. Building is approachable in this game. Yeah, they did a good job of not sacrificing complexity for uh, whatever the fuck the end of this sentence is. I could pause. Hey, maybe I should take a break. Let me get up and stretch. What the hell are you laughing about? Building is approachable in D4 too? Yeah, that's what I was just saying though. They didn't sacrifice complexity. D4's entire character tree, the entire tree for the entire character is the size of one of the skills in this game. One skill. Think about that. Uh, thanks, Spooky. And um, just Dodge, bro. And anyone I missed, thanks again, Billy Hoyle. Let me get up and stretch. I'll throw on a tune for you guys to dance to. Uh, how about this one? Deal. Lightning! <laughs> and shit. Poof. Good break. Hey, Jose. Thanks, man. Thanks, Jay Vash. Every time I had gotten Korean fried chicken before, it had been mid. Like... I never really got the point of it, but yesterday's was definitely unique, and I think that that was more authentic. It was expensive as fuck. Eight pieces of chicken was 20 bucks. So I assumed it was gonna be good. So it was pretty good. The exterior crunch tasted like a Cheeto. Damn, so now I'm throwing hella hammers. Dude, this game's tight. I added to my hammer count. What's going on? Someone's shooting at me. This guy? Cool. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, they had radish and I got rice. It was good. I would get it again. That was the first time I've ever got Korean fried chicken where I was like, I'd get this again. Every other time it was just like regular fried chicken but with like sweet sauce on top. <laughs> Nothing too good. special. But this one was like definitely unique. Ah, that's the bleed effect. You can see him bleeding. And because I'm hitting with so many hammers, hey, there's golden stuff on the ground not showing up. What's up with that? I got I didn't know what the flavors were called because they were all in Chinese on the menu, but I got the hottest and the second hottest one. Yeah, but I didn't filter out rare items. Those are yellow. Remember? Yeah, well, we figured it out. It was a bug in the DoorDash app that it was showing in Chinese even though it was a Korean restaurant. Really weird. Uh but focus please, will ya? I didn't say uh filter out yellow items. That's a yellow item on the floor. The UI gets bugged. Show rule for rarity and move it above the other to override. But why did that even happen though? Like, okay, that's a solution for a problem, but why did that happen? I didn't authorize that. Manage filters. Uh, hide magic items, hide normal items. So you can do add condition, rarity, Where's Rarity? Huh? Oh, that's for even more specifics. You can't do that? Okay. Uh, cancel. Uh, you drag it? Oh, you drag it. But see, like right here, it says hide all normal items, hide all magic items. But there is a rare item on the floor here that's being hidden. 
So you're saying add rule, add condition, show rarity rare. Well, that doesn't make any sense to me. And it didn't even work. It didn't work. These yellow items are still not showing. Unless I need to put it on top. Did I not put it on top? Oops. Oops. What'd you say? Uh, hey, Joe. Thanks, man. Yeah, nice Raiden. Instead of two rules, make just one and select normal and magic on it. Works for me. Uh, okay. Um, close that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that, too. You know what? Get rid of them all and start from scratch. Okay, add condition. Uh, rarity. Hide. Normal. Magic. Add. Didn't click hide. Oh. Well, you... Okay, I made a mistake, right? But... Look, it didn't show it. Do you have to restart the game or something? Show. This needs to be hide. Update. Hide normal and magic items. Seems bogged. Must have... Ground tooltips disabled. Try pressing Alt X on your keyboard. So that's something I did. I probably mashed on a button and accidentally did that. I'd rather learn what that button is on pad. L3 plus R3? Oh! It's R3 first, and then L3. And it brings up all the shit on the ground. Thanks! You saved it! Nice. You've pushed R3 first. I must have accidentally done that without knowing. Thanks. You think that's a dev? <laughs> Thank you. Don't they have bigger streams to fry? I would imagine. Anyway, thanks for the help. But see, look. Oh, nice. Boots! Yellow boots! Inventory. And a yellow belt. Transferred this shit. And a new shield. Health and armor. Block effectiveness. Physical damage is what I want. Fuck that. I'm leaving it. Uh, this <laughs> is a two-handed S-word. Damn, increased movement speed. Oh, but I lose phys... No, this has physical resistance. Oh, this is all fucking tip-top. <laughs> All right, wear it. What's this? Spell damage and melee damage. I do throw damage. Uh, void resistance. Increased physical damage? Give me that. Cool. Upgrades. Yeah, that basically was the first time I've ever tried Korean fried chicken. I've tried it two other times, but both times it was like super whack. I don't even like just regular fried chicken. It needs to be special. Regular fried chicken isn't even worth it. To me. Damn, this game's gonna be fun. I can tell. Nice to have something new to play. Damn, I already owned it too. Kinda feels like stealing. <laughs> I don't know where I got it from. I think someone get I think actually uh this guy uh Bloodshed gave it to me. 
He was a Diablo streamer. I think he actually works at Blizzard now, though I'm not sure. I got gloves. My first ones. Remember to do the side quest in chapter one on the storerooms? Thanks. What'd you say? Uh, are you, you making a new character for Elden Ling? I might. It comes out in June, so I have time to decide. I kind of want to. Uh, thanks, Mega Neon. And Kyrie. Thanks again, Joe. And my name is Jeeps. Why do I enjoy working on Tekken spreadsheets so much? Uh, what do you guys want to do with this loser? Permanently ban him? I mean, why would you fucking start a sentence in this chat room with the word why? I hate when people do that. And I don't like Tekken fans. Uh, I think he should be banned, but it's not up to me. It's up to the chat. You guys can decide what to do with him. That guy was annoying. Hey, remember that annoying guy we got rid of? That was a bitch. Damn, these hammers go all the way downtown. Where'd they go? Do they have like a end, end, whatever, a duration? Look how far they go. Cheating ass hammers. You don't remember that guy? You guys were talking about how you hated him and he, you wanted him banned. He was a bitch. Dude, hammers go like fucking down the street. In this game. It's kind of interesting how they start out going straight and then you use the tree to make them circle around you. Like uh, Diablo 2. Cool idea. This game's got some interesting shit going on. I heard the guys who made this game are all just fucking random noobs, right? That's probably for the best. Random noobs are more likely to make something pure because they haven't tasted success yet. But now, now that this game's sick, everything they do after this point is gonna fucking suck. So enjoy it while it lasts. Stupid bitches. This is why I hate devs, man. Even the good ones are just good for now. It's always gonna be like that Darth Vader shit. The dark side, man. They always... It, the, the cell phone games, the gotcha games. They can't resist, dude. The sweet temptation of the dark side. Bitches. Hey, you got lucky, you devs. This is pretty cool, though. <coughs> hey, guy who doesn't fucking listen. I'll ra this guy says, I'll rather random noobs... What do you mean, you'll rather? You need to start working on your English before you start disagreeing. You're basically agreeing with me in the tone of someone who is disagreeing. That's what you're doing right now, you know. You're agreeing with me, but your tone is like you disagree. Which means you should not be near English yet. Don't get near it, dude. One step at a time. Can I climb this? Is this a real ladder? Fake ladder. Hey, thanks, not Wawa and Talama and Mega Neon. I can still feel the every when I present this to Ryan. I'm in, I'm impressed with the voice acting, even though I don't want to fucking hear it. <laughs> These games. The characters are a bit too small for me to want to listen to them talk. Uh, unless it's like mid-combat. I like mid-combat shit when they say, like, you know, uh, what's that old guy in PoE that says, I may be old, but you'll die sooner. That guy is sick. The old guy in, uh, yeah, Vendiri. That guy is so tight, dude. <laughs> I may be old. But you'll die sooner. Damn, this is a boss. I just noticed. The 
The targeting on pad is definitely not as good as PoE though. Sometimes I'm throwing hammers like all the way into fucking space. Whoa, easy there, big fella. Phase two or something? Come on, man, throw the hammers at the fucking bird. Man, Elden Ring is gonna be really cool. Just, just playing this boss right now makes me appreciate how complex bosses in Souls games are, you know? And what a pain in the ass they are. In an ARPG, they can't really do much in an early game boss fight because, I mean, it's gonna be hard to beat. But in a Souls game, they can make early game boss fights so fucking hard because it's way more like uh, execution-based difficulty. Ah, oh, fucking guy tried to kill me right at the end, huh? Get on. Uh, your your fight with Rykard was the tightest. Who's that? I don't even know who that is. Mm, oh, the snake guy. Yeah, that was cool. To the together guy. That guy was sick. Uh, the only really hard boss that I can think of is definitely <laughs> Lasagna. Thank you. She was crazy. When did I put those on? I think I fucked up. Throw damage. Increased minion health. Increased cast speed. Physical resistance. Yeah, throw damage. Yeah, she was really hard. I thought that that boss was really hard, but none of the other bosses were that hard. I thought Sekiro had harder bosses than um, Elden Ring. Thanks. I'm retarded. Be nice. <laughs> All right, sure. Uh, thanks, Panda and Dark Spaghetti and Talama. I will be there. <laughs> Thank you. But we need not rich. Speaking of. Okay. Do I have any points to allocate or something? Oh, I have a brain point. What is a brain point? It's a skill point, huh? Oh, here we go. Lunge. Lunge. You get 8% per point? That seems pretty good. Lunch. <laughs> Damn, he's fat. I, I said the word lunge multiple times today and did not think of lunch but now i'm thinking of lunch and i'm probably gonna call this move lunch from now on i had korean chicken for lunch oh i didn't use a d-pad that was risky i forgot lunch is sick <laughs> lunch is sick yeah, it is. But it's not as sick as dinner. Dinner is sick. I usually just have fruit for breakfast, and then medium lunch, and then big dinner. Uh, missing in the highlands. Uh, missing in the highlands. Nice. Damn, he's good. Medium lunch.
I have no complaints so far. I guess there are a couple of little issues Back, with the pad. Are all of you guys mouse and keyboard nerds? Or do any of you play? Everyone? No pad players? Yeah. That's cool. Doesn't your, like... Do you put your feet up when you're sitting at your computer playing? You just sit like you're at work? Just you sit upright without your feet up. I stand? I thought about that. Uh, nah. Not fully. Eternal affairs. I have her. Well, we are keepers after all. Do you go through them? I feel as though in a high This guy talks a lot. I'm nice. Sorry to you. Gave me a hundred bucks, fucking old man. Give me your money. Don't get influenced by office workers? Whoa, something just happened. Damn, I guess I agreed to something. Chapter 2! I think there's only 9 or 10 chapters in this. The Shard. Okay. Cool. You're in the future? I just went to the future? Sweet. I like time travel. I wonder if they're gonna do anything to fix online for Tekken. This shit is annoying. I also, after playing Sergei a couple of days in a row, I think I like Yoshi more. He's way more fun and not nearly as good. But I think I'd rather have fun. I think Yoshi is way more fun than Dragonoff. And I really like the way they designed him this time. I think they did a great job with Yoshi. It's like the perfect combination of old school and new school Yoshi design. With a little bit of Soul Calibur. I think they did great. It's fucked up because when I'm not playing Tekken, I want to play it. But every time I'm playing it, I don't want to play anymore. It sucks. I wish they could do something to fix that problem. You know? Did he just friendly fire? He might have just hit his homies, I can't tell. I heard this game's difficulty curve is pretty steep, like it starts out pretty easy to like be inviting, but it gets really tough at the end. And I heard they made it even harder now that it launched. Like substantially harder. But at the end, not at the beginning. Cool. End game gets gnarly. No, I mean after today. Like the newest version of the game got harder. Before, I, I just watched a video about it. It said that before, it didn't used to scale as steep as it does now. Health regen, cold res? I'll wear that. Is this a bug? Why is there a white outline on this item here? You see that? This, this square has a white outline on it. And now it's gone. 
Okay, and now it's back. What the fuck? What is this? When I'm hovering over some things? Why is it doing that? Maybe that indicates... Oh, okay. That indicates the place will, where it will go. When you're hovering over an item, that shows you where it's going to go. Got it. In case you can't figure out that it's a shirt. <laughs> it's probably designed for you, chat. Uh... It's nice that they're including those features, though, little guy. 1% increased movement speed. That seems better than what I'm using, right? Physical resistance, though, that's what I want. Okay, deal. Oh, yeah. How do I do lunge again? LT. I don't know how to do it. Maybe you need a target to lunge at. I also don't know if these dialogue... This guy's bald. I don't know if these dialogue options have a... Like a... These don't have a consequence, do they? You just blow through them and not give a fuck. No consequence. Thanks. The game looks seriously thin. <laughs> Serious thin. I have a passive skill I just noticed. Cool. Hey. Uh, damage, dude. Damage seems like the way to go. Damage. Oh, use the D-pad. Cool. Continue. Serious fin. I'll probably just make myself a sandwich. So if you guys sit at your computer, let's say like you're sitting down, you got the evening off, you want to play a shitload of whatever this game is, any game, right? So you sit at your computer and you play the game and then when you're done, do you go somewhere else to chill the fuck out? <laughs> like when do you chill then? Can't just sit at a computer all day. Bed? Weird. You just sit at a computer all day long and then bed and then back to computer? Weird. Because, I mean, let's say you have a job, right? You wake up in the morning, you go to work, you sit at a computer. Then you go home, you sit at a computer, you play, then you go to bed. That's how it works for you? I can't do that, man. I don't like sitting on a computer chair. I'd rather go, like, somewhere else. <laughs> I don't like sitting at a computer. Not everyone works in an office? Well, yeah, I guess you could be into manual labor or some shit, but... Then if that's the case, then yeah, sitting at a computer is pretty comfortable. You know? <clears throat> manual labor is sick? I mean, it depends on what you mean by sick. Uh, it's not ideal, I would imagine, if you had the choice. Don't you agree? Sick as in backbreaking? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Most people, if they had the choice, would choose to do something less taxing physically. Carrying around fat chicks? <laughs> That's a pretty weird job. Uh, where do you apply to get that job? Yes. Pays well? I can imagine. That sounds like hazard pay. Uh, better pay well. Shit's dangerous. 
Uh, oh, I got a skill point. Passives. Um, I think I'm, like, inclined to just get damage for now. Until I get here. Or not that. Uh, until I get... I can't take this. Increase damage, additional chance. Fuck that. Uh, so I can't get any of this shit. Maybe I should just get these defenses. And damage until I get up here. Oh, you're gonna need an axe. Male Crusher. Mace or Scepter equipped. So it's a mastery type of thing. Blade Master. Attack speed and cast speed. Mace increased damage. Scepter increased damage. Ah, excuse me. Chance to cast axe throw on hit. Weird. Oh, you can equip a sword in your offhand. So in this game, normally you can't do that. You need a passive to be able to dual wield. <laughs> Thank you. I thought you would be able to anyway. Uh, thanks, Jaro. And Taylor Swifty and uh, Fangarang and THC Mafia, Qui Gon, Urot, Taco Bell for lunch. <laughs> Joe Fu. Uh, thanks, Claire Redfield's pussy and Zlobin Anya. Uh, thanks. I have a point. I'm gonna go with damage, but use the D-pad. Okay, I did. More damage. Don't ask me, dude. <clears throat> they have a bubble. Is that a proximity bubble? So like if I throw it from outside, it won't hit him or what? Glyph of Hope. Mace. Melee Void Damage Stun. So these items that I'm picking up right there, yellow. I pick it up. I look at it. It's caca. Do you guys just drop it on the floor? You don't even bother taking it back to town, even if it is just five bucks. Whoa. Damn, zoomed in gameplay. Cool. This guy's got kind of a big head. It's better than big armor, though. I feel like in WoW, that style of armor design, I don't like that. Like the giant shoulder pad style. I don't like that that much. He looks like Lakari. I'm gonna go ahead and let other people influence me into whether or not that's offensive. You let me know. If that's offensive, I'll get offended. We could deal with this guy. It totally is offensive. Um, that was a trick. It's not offensive. Bam, the guy who got offended. He does look kind of like Lucari. If Lucari had, like, armor on. Classic bait. There's two JOIs on my map, so... I'll just go to both. If Lucari wasn't a bitch? Now that's offensive. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, you know, that's his doing. Can't really do much about that. Lucari, that's your problem, man. That's your fault. <laughs> you gotta deal with that. Thanks, Sephiroth. Pagato. Egg rolls. Gods be with you. Goodbye. Stay safe. Wrong. 
good old RoboCop. I got egg rolls after that Pagato incident. I got influenced into egg rolls. Thanks to Hollywood Rob TV dressing up like an egg roll. Oh yeah, speaking of, isn't Capcom Cup starting today? And what does that even mean? <laughs> In a nine day long event, what does that mean? Like what are they doing, a uh, opening ceremony? Is there some kind of weird Street Fighter torch or something? What kind, what is going on on day one? I don't even know how they could make it nine days. Is it round robin? Weird ass format. The Macy's Day Capcom Parade? Are you making some kind of a failed joke there? Is that what that is? Man, I wish Star Button would go straight to your inventory. Elemental resistance, poison resistance, increased minion health, physical resistance. Uh, nah, I'll take physical damage, dude. Physical damage is, uh, damn, I forgot already. Okay, skills. Huh? Minimum skill level increased. Damn it, man. This says I understand. I hate that it says that because I don't. But I don't want to read <laughs> <Thank> this. <laughs> Why does it say I understand instead of okay, fucking devs? All right, I'll read it. Uh. uh. <laughs> uh, that's the sound I make when I try to read. Uh, I need to catch my breath. Uh, ah, fuck it. I didn't read all of it. I get it, devs. I understand. Hey, what did that say? I have one unspent point. You think I should try Spiral? Half extra projectiles? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks, Mike L. Spiral. Um, if you reset... I know, I'm just kidding. I read it. I'm just kidding. I mean, I skimmed it. Yeah, it's just talking about the minimum level. Everyone knows that. All right, I'm going for it. Iron Spiral. Why not? Well, I don't have a point to spend? I do. Why not? It won't let me pick it. Am I tripping? Let me try that again. Skills. Okay, don't use the, the analog stick. There could be bugs. Okay, it worked that time. I'm telling you, there's bugs. It's not just me. I mean, it's just... I mean, it's not just me. Invulnerable during lunge. I want that one. Can't pick it. I'm telling you, what the fuck? You can't pick it. Now I'm gonna go out. Go in again. Oh, this one requires four points into the previous one. That's why you can't pick that one, Pendejo. Well, why do you? How do you explain this one then? How do you explain that one then? Anyway, let me try my new shit. Whoa. Oh, but they don't follow me yet. Cool. Cool. It's probably worse now, but maybe not. No, it's not. <laughs> it's good. That's tight. Awesome. Wow, that's really good. They hit multiple times easily. Sweet. 
You can get them to follow you too. But look at my mana though. The mana cost is really high. So I'm gonna have to figure out the mana. There was a node that says minus one mana cost. So I wonder if I should like kite them closer to each other so that less hammer throws are required. Dude, that's hype. It feels good. This game is pretty cool. You got lucky, devs. Can't wait for Last Epoch 2 to have fucking uh, God knows what. Cell phone game. You missed the chest south of your position? Thanks for the heads up. Thank you. I'll go back. Thanks for the heads up. South of your position. Oh, you think the sequel will be a prequel and they'll call it First Epoch? Cool. Ah, excuse me. You're right. Thanks for the heads up. It was empty. Someone banned that guy. Uh, but let me know if there's any other ones that I miss. Can't go this way yet, I don't think. Unless this is a lever. Oh! Okay, you gotta slam it. But there's a JOI over there. Yeah, this is super tight. <laughs> this is super satisfying and cool the way your skills change like that. Really good idea. I accept. What brings you here? Hey, what the fuck? Didn't I just talk to this bald asshole? Are they reusing bald heads? What did you think I wouldn't notice this head? I just talked to this bald guy. He had a different beard. You know what, devs? I take back everything I said about this game being good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the JOI's over there, so I'm gonna go this way for secret shit. <laughs> Thank you. I forgot what we were talking about. You think the devs are bald? Dude, all the best devs are bald. It's true. That's a known fact in the game development community. Not Miyazaki? That's a wig, dude. It's either a wig or he got that fucking Giuna special. Guaranteed he got the G in a special. I have a bunch of fucking stuff with me. Throw it on the ground. I don't want it. So I'm going in the wrong direction right now. I'm probably making a mistake, right? Don't do that. Go back, do the JOI, don't get creative. In games like this, you usually don't want to look for secrets. Because the secrets are going to be trash. You just want to follow the JOI. Whoa, did you see that? Like a worm down there. Is this game any poggers? Shut up, bitch. Yeah, it's good. So far, of course. I mean, it's as good as it can be for two hours of playing. You throw three hammers at a time. That's fucking hype. I think it's such a good idea making you feel powerful from the start. The beginning of ARPGs is easily the worst part of every fucking ARPG. Why not just make you feel powerful? This feels like I'm powerful. I'm in chapter 2, and my character already feels great. <clears throat> is everyone playing offline? Yeah, I think online is 
Damn, someone just got shot. You could just ban that guy. Uh, anyway, get banned. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, online is not working yet, I don't think. So I'm playing offline. But I heard that it's, there's no difference. You gotta wait for your instances to load? I'm not sure what that means. What are you telling me? Online, uh, oh, it's working, but it's unstable. Okay. But, I mean, so <laughs> would you recommend that I you, I play online? No, right? I, there's no purpose to it if you're playing solo cell found, right? Keep playing offline, yeah. Okay, deal. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm excited about Elden Ling. Yeah, for sure. I When I saw the trailer, I booted up Elden Ling. And I checked to see if my character was still there. And it is. My character's named Mama John, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh... But I kind of think I want to try a new character. But man, dude, saying you want to play a new character in Elden Ring is like saying I want to spend 100 hours playing Elden Ring, right? <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. Level 13, cool. Man, this is so far really fun. I'm pretty happy about that. I knew it was going to be good because everyone's already played it. Uh, you know, it's like old. But it's like new to me. Your build was super OP at the end of Elden Ring. Yeah, but even if it was OP, I could have done such a better job. I did a terrible job with the build. It's just that I'm an expert at making builds, dude. But, like, I, I did so many stupid things in that playthrough. I didn't even... I never once in my entire playthrough of Elden Ring, I never cleared any status ailment with an item. I only cleared... I, did, I never did. I always waited for them to run out. I never cleared a single status ailment once in that game, ever. Because that shit's for pussies. Know what I mean? Damn, I bet this is gonna be good against this boss. Oh, but my mana's all fucking empty. This boss is a big fella, you know? So all these hammers are probably gonna drill him, but I got no mana. So I can't cast the spell. Dude, I would be doing more damage if I had some way to get mana. Melee damage chance to bleed. 51% chance to bleed, though. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this game is tight. I would recommend it. I think it's 30 bucks, though I already owned it before. Someone gifted it to me. Not gifted, like, someone gave me a code. Like, I think... as I think it was, like, one of those things where... The guys who make this game gave him codes to give away to other people. So he gave me one. But I never tried it until now. I got a passive point. Cool. I would say overall the quality is very nice. What is this? Idol? Did I just get idols? I think those were my first idols. Ellie Rez and Crit Chance. Chance to bleed on hit and necrotic res. I can only use one right now. I'll use that. Chance to bleed on hit and necrotic res. Cool. Crafting is very nice too. I haven't done it yet. Uh, but I heard you're, you're encouraged to do it. Even maybe I should have been doing it already. Hey, you dropped your first unique. Cool. Was it good? I haven't gotten one yet. Excuse me. Wait until you start getting owned. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I'll use that as like a... Um, 
when it's time to, you know, do shit. There are a million uniques. Shit's tight. There's no way it's got more uniques than other games. Isn't it brand new? I guess it's not that brand new. It's old as fuck. They had four years to put uniques in the game. Uh, crafting in this game is pretty much item editing. Yeah, it's got, like, very specific. You can say what you want, and you can also remove, like, what you want from items, too. I saw a video about it. I looked up, like, the game systems. I didn't look up any, like, guides to, like, build guides. I didn't do that yet, though I guess I should have. Um, you can remove randomly, too. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, the game is well done. I like it a lot, too. Thanks, Real Madeo. Selling my Xbox to get Elden Ring. Did you buy an Xbox? Damn. Maybe you found it on the ground. Uh, that's usually how people acquire Xboxes, right? You just, like, find them. Uh, thanks, Metal World Geese and Esperitu and Mad Black Duck and DJR. And thanks, Bazooka Joe and Catch... And Mike L. and Sam. And anyone I didn't thank today. So far, so good. Three hours, easy money. I'm going to get up and stretch. And I might grab a little snackaroo. You guys want anything from the fridge? I got croissants. Lightning! And shit. <laughs> Poof, nice break. Hey, one of you guys grab that Sung Mina thing and go to the backyard and get some oranges from the tree, will ya? Um, I'll hang back and level up some more. Uh, thanks, Flynn Ham and Solarian and Metal World Geese. Thanks. The ones on top don't even fit in my mouth. They're huge, but the ones on the bottom are more tart. They're all really good, though. But it's been raining for two days, so I ran out. I gotta hit that shit up. I don't like going at night because then you can't see when the spiders are attacking. There's a ton of fucking spiders on that tree. So I'm trying to fucking, like, you know. You gotta really get under there. And when you yank the oranges off, you know, the whole tree shakes around and all these fucking bugs and shit fall out. So I need to do that during the day. Or else I'm gonna have, like, a black recluse in my fucking beard and shit without knowing it. Fuck that. Hell no. You know what I mean? Mm. Looks like there's three destinations, but this one has a diamond next to it, so I'll just go to this. Someone earlier said, don't miss your passive, uh, your... Hey, did I miss any quests? Side quests? I want damage. Use the D-pad. Three unspent points? Whoa. Damage, damage, damage. Dylon, Dylon, Dylon. What? It spent two points for one click there. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I was gonna put two points in there, but it spent two points for one click. Okay. Uh, it got lucky. Anyway. Oh, this one has, has a... Like a thing around it too, see? Look at that. This door on the left side has like a little thing flashing around it. And this guy has an icon too. Shut up, bitch. This guy has an icon too. Maybe this is, these are side quests. Gamble? Gamble? stone casino how much <laughs> Frankie four fingers <laughs> uh, purchase price 1,000 bucks whoa 1,000 bucks I only have 2,000 bucks I'll be back later, bitch. Uh, all right. That's cool. What? Go on, man. 
Oh, he the gambler has a side quest for me. Sounds like a pet. Oh, nice. I just did. I just activated two side quests. All right, cool. Uh, I guess one of them is this way. Uh, when turning in this side quest, go to the old guy, Blue Diamond for unique gloves, not the gambler guy. I heard about that. One of the quests has a turn in option. If you turn it into the wrong guy, you get a, the wrong item. And you want the gloves. This is the side quest. Is it called Artem's Offer or Ezra's Ledger? Ezra's Ledger. Find Ezra's Ledger in Ezra's Library. Okay. <laughs> Ezra's Thanks. Library. Thanks, Amelia Clark's eyebrows. And thanks, uh, Flynn Ham. Thanks, bros. Happy Big Friday. Oh. Yeah, this is sick. <laughs> I was wondering if the spiraling hammers would be effective this early, but it seems really good and fun. Satisfying sound effects, too. It's a shrine. Drake is your favorite rapper? My favorite rapper is Busta Rhymes. Flip mode is the greatest, dude. Peek into the ledger. Take the ledger. Yeah, I really liked his videos, too, back in the day. I don't know if he still makes some cool videos, but when, like in the 90s, he used to make really cool videos. They were weird. I like Missy Elliott too. She's also weird. It's cool when you can instantly identify the musician by their style. You know? I only like DMX for the laughs. That, you know that song I used to like? Uh, the one where he goes, It ain't what you heard. It's what you're hearing. Listen. <laughs> Listen. It's what you're hearing. Listen. That song. I like that song. Oh, treasure chest. I offer you, I will guard what little of the epoch I have left and find a way. Oh, is that a legendary? Rune of Ascendance. Changes the item into a unique item. Rune of Ascendance? What the fuck? That's so rare? What the fuck? Woohoo? That's big? What the fuck? Hey guys, are you trying to get me sexually aroused? Because it is working. I got a rune of ascendance, dude. What the fuck is that? These were once the Olachi Mountains. Is this what becomes of my people? Pop it on boots? It turns a normal item into a unique. It's like a random unique, guaranteed. You can use it on boots for a unique boots that have movement speed. Should I do that now? Any boots? Does it not matter? So I can put them on these boots? 
Boots or belt? Do it or no balls? I'm doing it, bitch! Uh... Works similar to an ancient orb. Oh. Except for normal. Do you... Oh, and it's not... It's not level dependent, is it? It's not level dependent, so you could just use it now. Put your balls in your boots. I'm gonna use it. I'm using it. How do you use it? F. Push F. It has nothing to do with the stats of the item it uses. Forge. So, put this item in here, right? <laughs> Thank you. So now these boots are in here. And then this item transfer X. Did I do it? What the fuck, dude? Maybe I fucked up. Uh, click the plus. This plus? This right here. Whoa. Look. Rune of Ascendance. Ascend? Can I get your confirmation? Ascend! What did I get? Etera's Path. Minions? <laughs> Thank you. Level 30? Requires level 30? I can't wear it. It requires level 30, dude. It's the worst one? Oh, but it has... Uh... Movement speed, but I can't wear it till I'm level 30, huh? What? What is this thing in my hand? Oh, I accidentally picked something up. So send it back. I can't use it. That was still cool. I'm hype about it. That was still cool. So it wasn't good. Because I can't really use it till later and I'm not using minions. That those boots summon vines and then buff them. Oh, are they good for other builds? Maybe that's what you mean. Wait a minute, what level am I now? I guess that's relevant, isn't it? Character? Oh, I'm level 13. That's not very close. The boots give you minions. Interesting. Cool. So that, that item that I got, the Rune of Ascendance, that's pretty rare. I wonder how frequently you get those. I haven't found a unique yet, but some people found uniques. Very rare? Really? That rare, huh? Interesting. I have points to allocate. This gets so fucking finicky. You know what, man? I'm just gonna use the mouse. Uh, okay, so... I have one point for hammers. Hammer vortex. Orbit you. Plus four mana cost, dude. So I need mana. Minus one mana. Yeah, maybe I should get some of this. Ballista, right? Weird. I'm gonna get Ballista. So it's gonna reduce the mana cost, give me some damage, and then eventually I'll get the other thing. Damn, so you need four points into this to get to this? I never even use this shit anyway. Uh, what else can I put here? What do you guys recommend I put here? I'm only using hammers. 
Feels like I'm never using this. Shield Rush? Multi-Strike? Oh, melee attacks. Shield Rush, is it unlocked? It is. What am I waiting for? Respect this caca. Despecialize this. Get it out of my fucking face. Put this shit. Specialize it. So now I got Shield Rush. And do you guys know what direction? Splintering Impact. Unstoppable Charge. Increased chance to stun. You take less damage. Costs less mana. Huh? When Shield Rush ends, you return to the position you used it from. Shield Rush no longer has a cooldown. The cats are having sex outside. When Shield Rush ends, your mana is restored to the amount you had when it started. But it has a 10 second cooldown? Shield Rush gains additional charges, but you take more damage. Crit chance. I want to use this as a movement ability, not as a damage ability. Base crit chance, crit chance. Void beam, void beam, deals more damage, damage. Shield rush no longer requires a shield and hits, Thank you. deal additional base void damage. No longer requires a shield, sounds kind of cool. That sounds really cool. Go for that. It's still shield rush. The skill is still shield rush, but you don't need a shield to do it. Try this skill first. I know what it looks like. It's like um it's like the paladin skill in Diablo 2. I have two points. Maybe cost less mana sounds good. Thank you. I don't know, I can't decide. Shield Rush costs more mana. I don't want that. I'll do this. And... You return to the original position you used it from. I don't want that. <laughs> so get, get two of those. And we're good. Now I need to assign it. So how do, you, how do you do that? You go here. Thank you. And then let's make it, I guess, circle. Uh... Or let's make it, you can't make it, um, what does this button do? RB, that's what B is, bumper. Let's make it RB. Uh, it's this. Okay. I cannot do that. Why not? Oh. Woo! Nice! Cool. Damn, I took a SL of mana, dude. It goes until you, like, it goes in a straight line until it ends. Like, it's endless for a single mana cost. That's pretty cool. That. <clears throat> yeah, I'm playing offline SSF. You're about to unlock the Paladin Ascendancy. Save the slot for a skill you'll get called Holy Aura, which is a passive buff. Damn. Uh, well, I can just despec it, but thanks. Sounds like you followed a guide. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, you know. I'm, I appreciate it. I want advice. Basically, I figured, you know, I'm going to have the whole chat room there. And they're all going to be wanting to tell me what I'm doing wrong. So you might as well embrace it. And let these morons be your guide. You guys are like you're giving me reverse roadhead in the front seat. Can you cancel Shield Rush at any time? 
Uh, good question. Yeah. I think you can. Seems like you could. Cool. Yeah, I could use some mana regen or some shit. Uh, remember not to fuck up that side quest. Ezra's whatever. Ezra's ledger. Trouble? Aha! Mana. Nice and telegraphed. Cool. There's no, like, treasure chests in here or anything, is there? Have you fucked with the loot filter yet? Yeah, I made a loot filter that's hiding magic and white items. I did. I think it's really cool that it's in the game. I wish that more ARPGs included at least a really basic loot filter. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What did you say? Uh, he said... Don't give it to the gambler. So give it to this guy? <laughs> this you. is the quest where you can get unique gloves. So we're good? Cool. Goodbye. Uh, Oh, there it is. Avarice gloves. Give me that. What? Oh, is it too... I think there's stuff in my pockets that's making my pockets full. Whoa, I got a new chest. Health regen, void resist. Two attunement? What the fuck is attunement? I'll take it. Uh, what? Pick the damn thing up, moron. Pick it up. Okay, now use it. Uh, excuse me. Elemental damage leeched as life. Increased leech rate. Ellie res. These gloves seem pretty bunk. I don't do any elemental damage, do I? Maybe I do. Well, anyway, uh... Goodbye. One of these guys must be a merchant. Oh, is it this guy who's got an armor shirt? This guy, huh? You. Yes. Shop. So now I'm gonna sell all this shit. Thirteen percent Ellie res is buff AF. All right, cool. I'm not, I won't argue. I'm gonna sell all this trash. But not the unique. Should make another rule in the filter to recolor armor that has health and health percentage. Well, I might do that, but for now, uh, I don't want to. But I might do that. Hey, there's a ring here. I didn't notice. I'm just looking at items. Just to see what they look like and get used to them. It's interesting that that entire box on the bottom is a comparison. All the green stuff and all the red stuff. You can tell this game's sick already. Do you guys sell idols? If it's a minimum roll, I just keep mine in case. I only have one stash tab, but I have 3,000 bucks.
probably a better way to do this. Uh, increased movement speed, spell damage, and mana regeneration. That sounds fucking tight. Wear that. Hmm. Ones with resistance are useful. Otherwise, I sell. This one has resistance, but I don't have the idle space to put both of them. So I'll keep that. Cool. Sounds good. Thanks for the help. Your car is too fucking sick. Hey, did you ever do that shit you were gonna do? You were gonna do an upgrade. And I told you that it was a bad idea, I think. Either I told you or I thought about it. No, I just stock. I don't want to break it. Yeah, good idea. Uh, thanks, Jack Tin Fool. And Palace Osu. And Zombie. And Fabuki Ni. And Basura Solomonte. And thanks, Egregious Philbin. And Bionis Guy. Uh, some dude said that I want to put some points in some shit later. I forgot what he said. Uh, pad support's good so far. There are a couple bugs, though. Like, my cursor would be hovering over one skill, and when I push the button, it gives me another skill. Little things like that. But they'll fix it. <coughs> so far, it seems like, overall, it feels really good. The only issue with the pad support is, like, uh... UI issues, menu issues, if any. I I could be doing it wrong, for all I know. Uh, I can get this now. 25% chance to gain health when you block, regain health, and mana when you directly use... I don't use any of those things. Uh, and I can't get this because it requires that, so I don't really give a fuck about that. So forget all of these, right? I guess I could invest into block chance, but I don't want to yet. I'll just get damage still. And that's capped, right? So you can't get any more points of that. So instead of that, I'll get this. Armor clad, bomb clad, multi-strike. Oh, wait. Multi-strike is a skill that became unlocked now, right? But I'm not going to use it, so I don't give a fuck. But I didn't realize you don't have to actually allocate it. You just get it. On the, the big skills on the bottom, you get. Okay, so armor clad. Uh, one. See? That was... That was... Dude, I just pushed one single click of this and it put two points in. That's the kind of bug I'm talking about, dude. That's the kind of bug I'm telling you that exists. I put one, I pushed a button once and it put two points in. Uh, is there actually a drop campaign for this game? I don't know what that means. Um, anyway, shut up. Okay, continue. Oh, I could go up this way. Even though the golden diamond is on the bottom, this is probably the side quest. I guess. Equipment management is what sells these games for me. Dude, the reason it sells these games for you is because it's the most fucking important thing about the game. Loot and loot management is the most important thing. And it's the worst part of Diablo 4. By far. It is the worst part. Everything else about that game is acceptable. Other than the most important thing. Loot and loot management. like by far the most important thing about ARPGs a, a trash bag full of yellow squares all the same size with randomly generated artwork so that you don't even know what the fuck's what that game sucks a cocky whoa what is all this shit damn look at all these idols I got what the hell was that a shrine that pooped out idols what the hell Crit chance, fire res. Look at this baby idol. I didn't know they come in singles. Yeah, there's one for affixes too. Whoa. Uh, poison on hit. Increased physical damage. What's mine do again? Chance to bleed. So this is what I want. That's better. Increased physical damage. 
What's this? Crit and Ellie Res. This is necrotic damage and increased healing effectiveness. Physical damage. 14% physical damage. That's the best one. Equip. Nice. That's an upgrade. And I can also put these two in. This is healing effectiveness. And this is stun avoidance and cold res. Cool. Upgrade. Oof, you have to use the cursor even with the pad? Yeah, most games are that way. Uh, PoE is kind of like that. You still have to move the cursor around. But it's not an actual cursor. It's a highlight. In this, you could do it this way. Look. So, let's, let me pull this shit up. So you can use the cursor, or you could do it the other way too. Look, this game has both. So that's pretty cool. There are some weird things to get used to. But, this game has the way Diablo 2 Remaster has it, and the way PoE has it. <coughs> it has both. Man, every time I picked something up off the ground that was an upgrade, it felt like I got more powerful. It's pretty cool so far. I like that. And it also doesn't feel like shit at the beginning of the game like it usually does in every ARPG. I mean, I'm on Chapter 2, and at no point in this game did I feel like this feels like shit. It doesn't matter how good you get at PoE, it feels like shit at the beginning. <laughs> it's not about how good you are. It's about the way it's designed. I mean, I understand that you're supposed to feel progression. Like, if you feel like shit in the beginning, that means you will appreciate the upgrades more. But it doesn't mean you have to. Like, they can make it feel good the whole time and make the upgrades count. Both. My favorite part is that almost every map is handmade. What the fuck is this, an artisan pizza? Are you a dev pretending like you're not a dev? Sounds like some shit where you're sucking your own dick. Anyway, nice game, dev. I'm impressed. Damn, damage seems great. The only problem really is the mana consumption. But my damage is buff. Hand-tossed levels? <laughs> Ancient cavern? Wait, did I miss something over there? No. Whoa! going on here prostate exam cool oh I'm in another dimension I, w I went to another era I think I just time traveled Watch out for rings. They have an affix that gives mana cost for throw attacks. Cool, thanks. Uh, does that mean I should be looking at magic rings? Because I have a loot filter blocking all magic items. Yeah, probably. Weird. I'll just leave it as is. Hmm. Uh. Hey, who's that bug? Is that guy my friend? That guy seems like he's my friend. He's not attacking me. High tier affixes on magic are usually better than low tier on rare. So, the guy earlier who told me that I should block magic items is just a scrub. Or are you a scrub? Cuz... <laughs> Thank you. I'm just gonna keep going through the campaign until I get fucked up. Cuz I feel pretty powerful so far. I don't need to stop and like... 
smell the butt hash, you know? I'm just gonna keep going. I mean, I've been eating these bosses for breakfast like a croissant. Uh, thanks, Majestic Bing and Jujuch. Thanks for all the subs and whatnot. Hope everyone's enjoying the game. This is such a treat. Ah, excuse me. Just the kind of game that I really like. You can really sink your teeth into it. Hey, I'm doing great. Chilling. Oh. You, if you're stuck on a load screen, you're probably playing online. I heard online is unstable. I'm playing offline, so I'm having no issues. There's no difference between online and offline if you are not planning on trading or playing multiplayer. So if you're just going to be a regular non-bitch, uh, then it should be no issue. <coughs> I'm just kidding, man. I just don't like cooperating. Uh, you know? I'm not really into cooperating with anyone. So, online has 30 second load times. Man, that doesn't even sound like that much, but it is. It needs to have one, one second load times. Maximum seven seconds. Or it's fucking, I'm, I'm making a thread on Tekken Zaibatsu. On load times Zaibatsu. My graphics are set to medium, and it looks great. You got the munchies and ordered birria tacos? Birria is fucking popping these days. There's entire businesses opening that are just birria spots. Birria is the hot shit. Yeah, it's good. I fucking love it too. Who doesn't like birria? With the consomme? I'll dip my nuts in that shit, dude. Thank you. Are you kidding me? Hell yeah. Uh, thanks, Hunter. These guys just unlimited? Dropping a bunch of shit. Oh, damn, a boss popped out. He's getting fucked up. But now I'm out of mana. Yeah, he got fucked up. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about shield charge. Is this door locked? I cannot do that. Let's open up. I cannot do that. Mo? What do we have here? Is this just a regular forge? Why does this shit look like a fucking treasure chest inside another treasure chest? Is this shit bugged? I feel like I could see an anvil underneath it. But it looks like a treasure chest. That's a bug? Bug for sure? Okay. Well, they're ironing out some of the details. I mean, give them a break, dude. You know, the game was only in early access for four years. Okay. That's not really that much time. Give them, give them a chance. You know what I mean? Well, anyway, uh, I guess that's not important. But what this guy has to say... Is this the same bald guy or a different bald guy? These guys, these devs are reusing bald guys. Look at this motherfucker. He looks just like the other bald guy. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. Damn, he sounds like a bitch, too. He's a fake bald guy. 
There's an A prompt on this body that doesn't work. Huh? Oh shit. Cool. I like the molten hot caca underneath the ground. I picked up a lot of stuff. I should probably like use it. Whoa, this guy's green or some shit. Oh, he's got, he's like a special enemy, huh? Champion pack or some shit. He had affixes, poison and whatnot. Ooh. Is there a way to convert shards, different shard types? Like, like, you know. Like, let's say I have a shard that extracts uh, minion damage, and I'm not playing a minion build. Is that shard gonna rot forever? Like, I'm never gonna use that item. Dude, look at all this stuff I have in my inventory that I haven't looked at yet. I feel like I'm picking up too much stuff. That's a ton of stuff. Uh, it'll just sit there forever. You can turn them into shards. They're already shards. What do you mean you could turn them into shards? Anyway, uh, what do we have here? This has fire damage and whatever. This has spell damage, melee physical damage. I want throw damage. So there's never going to be a glove that I could possibly find that's going to be better than this avarice. People were saying that the unique glove avarice is to, uh, you use it until end, end game. Stop using a wand. I don't know about you, but when some random asshole tells me anything that starts with the word stop, uh, I'd rather just on principle ban the fuck out of them and ignore them. It'd be better if you said why. So that way I would know that you have some credibility. <clears throat> you know, like, maybe like, oh, you don't want to use wands because blank. Instead of just saying stop using wands. The reason I'm using that wand is because it has cast speed. I don't know that my skill is even a fucking spell, so maybe that doesn't even work. But still, I'm more willing to use a wand than listen to you. Uh, in crafting, you can use the minion affix on an item, then reroll it to another affix. So it doesn't just sit. Interesting. So there is a way to use it. It's not useless. Cool. Uh, check skill DPS when you equip different weapons. Uh, I just noticed this thing on top that says blessings. What the fuck is this? Okay, well, whatever. I'll get to that later. Uh, let's see if any of these have anything I like. Ah, excuse me. Increased physical damage. Look at that. 26% increased physical damage. That seems good. What is this? <laughs> Assassin's you. heretical script of regrowth <laughs> and remedy? It's a sentinel relic. What's a relic? Uh, increased armor, void resistance, health regeneration, crit chance, and poison resistance. Uh, I'll take it. Oh, that's this thing. Cool. And a belt. One potion slot. My current belt has physical damage on it. I think I will take that instead. Relic these nuts. Almost. Uh, spell mana cost. Alright, I'll give it up. <laughs> Stupid bitch! Um, anyway, thanks Rexum and 2Tech. And Hunter. What do you want me to do, man? It's not like any of you are saying anything funny. You know? Instead of uh, criticizing me for laughing at a stupid joke, what you should be doing is thinking about why I'm laughing at such a shitty joke. There's nothing else. You know, your jokes are trash. Step it up. Uh, thanks, Burner Man. 
Movement speed, health regen. Mana regen, lightning res, spell damage. Man, I like mana regen. Thank you. Uh, where's my other ring? Cold damage. Man, throw that shit in the trash and equip this. Did I just fuck up? This ring. What's this? Cold damage. That's the one I dropped on the floor. And what's this? It's trash. And then this? Fire damage. Melee damage. Okay, so someone said go to your tooltip. Where do you go? Where do you see that? Uh, skills? This? Where does it show like the dam is that it? Damage per second 117. Is that what you told me to look at? Oh wait, I could be a sentinel now? No. I have to put 20 points in. It's easier if you mouse over the skills on your hot bar. But if you change an item, you could see the DPS. Oh, I see what you mean. Just right here. Oh, nice. It's the, just a shortcut to get to the same thing. Sweet. I'm glad they give you this mouse, but you don't have to use it, you know? Because I want to be able to hover over things. In Path of Exile, you can't hover over things. You know, because there's no mouse on a pad, you know? I like pad. I'm a pad player. Uh, thanks, Babbling Illu and Burner Man. Cool. I cannot do that. Inventory. So I gotta clear out my inventory, but I'll do it later. So supposedly I'm doing more damage now, right? Though I guess I don't know. I could do what you said and see if there's a difference in damage relative to before. Let's see. So if I do this, this does... Oh, it doesn't work in this screen. It said 117, I think. So let's say I put this here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, now it does 105. Okay, that makes sense. Two handed, two handed. These are all two handed. What about this one? Oops. 123? Why does this one do more? Oops. Uh, okay. So maybe it's because, I don't know. Attack rate, attack rate 105. Is attack rate attack speed? Oh, it's the bleed, interesting. Holy shit, that's way better, right? Seems way better than the last weapon. Okay, so a good, good lesson. Oh, it doesn't fit. Man, I'm, my inventory's full. A good lesson, I think, to take away from that is to listen to the number on this rather than your instinct. How's the game? So far, it is great. I mean, it's about as good as it could be three hours in. But the ideas in this game and the things that are available in-game... I can understand why Path of Exile devs are making some new changes based on this game. It's like, uh-oh, there's a new sheriff in town. 
Increased coal damage, increased minion coal damage and mana. Cool. <clears throat> Thought about picking it up? I would recommend it if you like ARPGs. The thing that really gave me confidence in this game is that uh, it had such a long beta test. And if you think about Diablo 4, it had like a three day long beta test that was only available for fucking people who got double downs. <laughs> So, you know, like, yeah, either you can make a good game or you can make a game that's beta tested by a bunch of fat morons who like double downs. Know what I mean? Such as myself. I don't like double downs, but I did get it. Regretfully. You're not fat, Eris? Listen, uh, when people tell me that I'm not fat, that just makes me think they must be really fat. <laughs> uh, I guess that's a relative. You know, like, I probably won't beat you, <laughs> but, you know, I still think I'm definitely too fat. No, I am working on it. Doing my best. It's not a race. But I'm headed in the right direction. So far. The water and pizza diet. Yeah, it works like a charm. I definitely have to mix in some exercise though. Unfortunately. The, the animations are quite good and the sound effects are great too. I really like it. It looks good and it feels good and it sounds good. And the systems feel like they're very uh, well thought out. You can tell it's a passion project. I guarantee you Last Epoch 2 is about to suck ass though. These devs are going to be so full of themselves. They're going to be like, well, you know, don't you have cell phones? Last Epoch 2 is about to suck, but part 1 is pretty sick. Seems like you get quite a bit of crafting materials. Not that I've used many. I did get one Rune of Ascendance so far. It was a dud. Uh, I have skills to allocate. Skill points, I mean. What are we gonna do? Let's get... Uh, now orbit you. <laughs> Plus four to mana cost sounds whack, though. I think I should get more of uh, this first. Ballista. Reduced mana cost and damage. And then let's go over to the shield rush. And I think I want... Mana efficiency <laughs> for this. Thank you. But it doesn't let me select it. What's the problem? Why not? See what I mean? This is like some funky shit sometimes. And it's pad related. Look. Now let me pick it. I was circled before. Whatever. Okay, so do I have any passives to allocate? Two passives. So I'll max out this guy. It. Dude! This game stunned. I only pushed one input and it put two points in there. I was going to do that, but it got lucky. Fat fingers? Dude, execution was flawless. Fuck you. Uh, is there a spend all button? Well, it, if it's the spend all button, then it was, it's the same button. I just pushed X. It's not like I got creative with what button I'm pushing. Break time skinny fingers? <laughs> hey, someone shoot this guy. You little clever bitch. Uh, uh, one click. Yeah, I think one click. I think it's double clicking because of the virtual mouse. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it has to do with this cursor. Skinny fingers. Uh, thanks, Kylie. Uh. And Evil Joker and Dunkstorm and Bobby Shoy and Babbling. Thanks, bros. 
Man, I'm having a great day. I had more fun playing this today than I have ever had playing Tekken 8. Stay back. Oh shit. We got a boss. I like that the moves are telegraphed. That's pretty nice. Like, don't fucking stand here, dude. It's odd that there's no mana potion. You just have to let it come back. Or, like, probably get mana on hit or some shit. Thing I've ever done. The void gave him such power. If only it hadn't taken his mind as well. Cool. Maybe I'll be a voice actor one day. When I grow up. That would be cool. I would be a voice. For like a game. You don't think so? You don't think I could be a voice actor? I do pretty good impressions. You seem a little disoriented. First time. This is what is left of your timeline. And don't act so surprised. Countless other travelers have What'd you say? gone from here. Uh using rune of discovery on items early is a good way to get four affix items quickly. So you don't think I should just keep blowing through the game until I get fucked up? Uh, I was just gonna keep playing until I get to something hard. Excuse me. You seem a little this is not don't monkey might be kind enough to She's not a merchant. You have to talk to the merchant. Alright, merchant. Shop. Is there a sell all? I'm starting to think that selling is not the way. Cause this shit is giving me 20 bucks, man. 20 bucks? New amulet. That's way better than the one I'm wearing. Even though it's a bunch of shit I don't need. Okay. Take care. Wait, uh, what about these things? Did I already look at these? Yeah, I did. Chance to bleed. Wait a minute, so if chance to bleed is so fucking good, then maybe chance to poison is good too. Oh, but this already has chance to poison. All right, fine, fuck it. Where's my stash? Uh, increase spell damage, whatever. Put that shit on the ground. <coughs> Ascendancy time? Oh. Just got off work. How are you liking the game? I like it a lot. I think that so far I like it as much as I could like it and the fact that it's been out for so long and so many people that know what they're talking about vouch for it gives me confidence that it's good um, however you got to keep in mind they could be fucking shills you never know but it seems all right to me this game's so good I'm barely level 10 and I already dropped a unique see this guy's a fucking shill dude 
can't trust what he says. It's probably a bot. Anyway, I'm just kidding. You can't respect ascendancy, just letting you know. Yeah, I knew that already, but I'm pretty, like, there's no question on what I want, right? Like, I want a paladin. Right? <laughs> Thank you. The only other option is Void Knight. But Void Knight makes you purple. And I don't want to be purple. I want Paladin. So how do I ascend? Do I have to go somewhere? Wait, I can't ascend, can I? I only have 20 points. Don't I need another point? It's a quest. Oh, Forge Guard. No, I'm not going to do a Forge Guard. I'm going to do a Paladin, dude. My name is Tim Lovejoy Jr., dude. Reverend Lovejoy. Where this, where's this shit trying to take me? Go upstairs north? Uh, north? What stairs? Oh, they're invisible stairs. Gotcha. Cool. This game's tight, dude. Look at all the shit going on in the back. Ah. You could tell the devs enjoy this type of shit. You can tell that they're not uh, just doing a job, you know? I, I see your count. I, I, if I, 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 shut up, bitch. Uh, Paladin, choose mastery. Are you sure? Confirm? Are you sure? I understand. I understand. I'm a paladin. Holy aura. So that's what the guy was talking about. He was like, you want to use holy aura. So whatever. Oh, and I got a passive point. The reason bleed is so good is because it's the only dot that scales with physical. Ah. Ha. So what you're telling me is that I should put on chance to bleed items instead of chance to poison. All right, I'll listen to you. Just put holy aura on your hot bar. You don't have to specialize into it. No. Okay. So I'll go to my hot bar and LT will be uh which one is it? Oh up here. Holy aura. Is it like a toggle? Like a aura in POE? No, LT. Uh, it has a duration? Oh, look, it has a duration. The active has a duration. It's permanent, but activating it will double its buffs. Is there a way to auto-cast it? Passive and active. Cool. Use it like a Vol Aura. Thanks. This is really neat. So exciting. I'm so glad I didn't play this game until now. I feel like I did myself a favor. Oops. Okay, skills. I don't have any skill points left. What does this 20 here mean? Level 20? Or what? Yeah, okay, so I'll get a third ability at level 20, and then I could specialize into that. And then passives. I have one unspent passive point, so now I can put that into the paladin tree. Damn, this gives you a lot of stuff. Conviction. Defiance. 
All Ellie res. What does attunement do? <laughs> Thank you. If you want to go spellcaster, build attunement. If physical, do strength. Uh, I'm doing hammers. That's physical, I think. Attunement is mana. Uh, attunement is plus two mana per point and increases scaling for your spells. Thanks. So, what do you recommend? It seems like this is the best. Increased physical conviction. Do you guys recommend conviction? You can put points into other classes even though you're not part of that class. Let's see. Oh, oh, that's what this chain is for. I saw that. So this is the limit. You can't go past this vertical chain. So all the shit here, you can still put points into. Interesting. But if I put points into this, I won't progress my paladin tree. Whoa. Throw attack damage. Block effectiveness. This is the forge guard. This is the void knight. Void res, physical res, health. Void damage. Damage. Increased damage on recent kill. Huh. Recently lasts four seconds. But that's no good on bosses. I think conviction seems top. You anointed a point? What? This game is bugged, dude. I never authorized that. This is like the fifth time this shit fucking happened, dude. Where's the brain lady? This keeps happening. I did not authorize that shit. Fuck. That's gonna cost me a hundred gold, dude. Stupid bitch. This is a scam, dude. I bet you the brain lady's got something to do with this. That's how she makes her money. Fucking scamming me out of my points. Stupid bitch. Uh, I'm gonna put it into conviction. What? What? That shit went into fucking forge guard again. Are you kidding me? This is a scam, dude. I didn't do that. Dude, fuck you. That's another hundred gold I just got scammed out of. What on earth, dude? Use the fucking D-pad. Jesus Christ. That's 200 gold I lost thanks to that stupid shit. Thanks, CeeLo. How much gold do I have? I only have 4,000 gold, dude. 200 gold is a lot of gold. Bitches. Uh, I see even by you. Thank you. Oh, sweet. An old passage of a uh, I think I can like start a quest with this lady. Do, not do you guys just pick up side quests? How do you handle that part of the game? Some side quests are like you get passive points for them, but you can get all of the possible passive points without completing all the side quests. So, maybe you should just do the side quests until you have maximum points. And then move on. Pick them up. Uh, I didn't get to read that fast enough. I'm playing a hammered in build. Get every side quest. Most quests are near... Story quest anyway. Thanks, uh, yo, his and fair and humorous chimp and electro and Kyle and evil joker. Thanks, dunk storm. That lady scammed you for 200 gold. What are you fucking telling me, dude? Isn't that what I just told you? You trying to get banned in here saying shit like that? <laughs> Thank you. Do the side quests for idle slots? I'm doing them, aren't I? I mean, I want to do... I'm usually the type that, if I don't know 
I'll do them all. <laughs> Thank you. I like doing side quests. Why not? But I don't do all the side quests in PoE because I know the ones that are garbage. Oh, I'm stunned and taking damage. What's that? Later you can add judgment to hammered in, but early it's really the best setup. Uh way past break time, baby girl. Thanks for reminding me. Thanks, legitimate business lady. Are you the brain lady? Trying to fucking scam me out of my gold. Thanks, Mudkips and Po Fox. And legitimate business lady. Does this game have phasing? So you could just like walk through enemies? Oh, I forgot about the break again and you just reminded me. Hey, I need to take a break. Phasing, phasing comes from items and classes. Cool. Oh, break time? Fuck. Alright, alright, just in the, uh, just give me a second, will ya? Just getting a lay of the land real quick. I bet you a lot of people are gonna play Falconer just because it's new and interesting. I feel like Falconer is gonna be like the tornado shot cuck of this game. No offense to you Falconers. Is Paladin supposed to be good? I haven't heard people say that. Paladin's supposed to be old, but uh, maybe they buffed it. Like in the newest patch, Paladin is good. Cool. <laughs> That's good news. Yeah. I'm excited. Thanks, Hidetake Miyakaka. I want to get up and stretch. Break time. Break time, break time. Elden Ling. Thanks, Thoraxian and Angel Aramis. And legitimate business lady. Let me throw on a little tune for you guys to dance to while I'm gone. What are we going to listen to? Uh, how about... What is this? Sexualizer? Sounds pretty cool. Lightning <laughs> and shit. <laughs> Poof. Man, what a great song. What a miss. Nice song. <coughs> Where was I? North. Still trying to play online? Is that because you want to play with your friends or what? Offline is the same as online, unless you're a co-op casual. Yeah, and trade. Oh, you want to trade? But, you know, I heard in this game it's not that difficult to acquire your gear. Maybe that's not accurate, but that's what I heard. Can't use MTX offline. Oh, well, that's a huge bummer. <laughs> what do you mean, MTX? Like shit that you've bought? You've already bought stuff? And not only have you already bought stuff, but you're upset that you can't use it? You're that attached to the thing that you bought? I mean, it'll be online soon, I guess. I don't know, man. Whatever, I'm glad I don't have MTX.
Is there skill MTX in this game? I think that's a good idea. Character MTX is whatever, but you're gonna look at that skill spinning around forever. Though I think it looks cool. I think this version of Hammers looks great. Honestly, I don't really like the way Hammers look in D2R. Even though it's my favorite build. Or one of my favorites. Oh, you want bikini armor. I didn't think about that. Alright, my bad. So you want uh, Reverend Lovejoy Jr. to be wearing a bikini. Alright, now I know. Put some bikini. Oh, unique body armor, dude. I just nutted my first unique. 88 health. Ah, oh, man, it's minion fucking armor again. I got minion boots and minion armor. Minions. Do you think, uh... It's probably not as good as what I'm wearing, huh? Time to play summon Necro. I know, huh? You gotta reroll Necro. That's what I was thinking. I might eventually. My bad. Just be a Forge Master. Nah, I'm just gonna do what I'm doing. You can't just change your mind every time you drop something good. Or something at all. So you could channel this, it's like a shield. Got it. I cannot do that. This game has the best minions out of any ARPG. I did hear good things about the minions in this game. It's not that hard to have the best minions out of any ARPG though, because they always fucking suck in everything. If they're really good, they're like their quality of life is terrible. Dying fucking specters, stupid anime guardian. The dumbass had fucking like tons of gear. Nah. If I had known how Spectres work, I would never have played a minion build in PoE. Is that the first and only build you ever played? My first build in PoE ever was also a minion build. I fell for that shit too. I fell for that shit too, man. That shit sucks. Exactly the same problem. Swapping weapons, fucking minions are gone. You accidentally unequip a plus one armor that was giving you one extra specter. That guy's gone. You gotta cast your stupid fucking desecrate. This shit sucks, dude. This shit sucks, dude. And imagine last league, dude. Or I guess it's the current league. Where you have to spend like 20 divines to buy a specter. And then it dies. Oh my god. They're stoned. Yeah, anime guardian dying with all its gear. Shit's a nightmare. It's such a huge, like, downside to minions. In that game, at least. Thank you. They must want it that way for some reason. It is an absurdly big downside. Thanks, Plagued. Uh, and Pizza Man delivers. Thanks, man. Hope you're all having fun, getting lucky. I'm disappointed that this game isn't on console, because I'm going to have to... In order to play it in my living room, I'm going to have to move my computer, set it up. And you know what, dude? Since I'm playing offline, I guess there's a chance that it may not work. I might have to, like, do some kind of cloud saving. You know, like, um transfer the file over to the other computer steam link 
It has cloud saves. I have another PC. Whoa, I got all these idols again. Sweet. Is that common? Getting a shrine that has all those idols? That happened to me twice already. Health regen, physical resistance. That seems good. I think I'm going to use that. Healing effectiveness. I'm going to use that. Yeah, physical res resistance is good, I know. So I'll, let me do the weapon after. What do we have here? Poison damage and vitality. Mana and fire res. Plus four mana seems better than this trash. I wonder if it's better to do this way. Whoa, it is. D-pad is better than the right stick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa, 20% increased physical damage. So let's check it. I, the chat taught me how to do this. So you go here, 150. Then equip this. And it goes to 163. So that's an upgrade. Deal. Sweet. Is this game good or did assholes make it? Um, both. These assholes know how to make a good game. It's not 50 bucks, is it? I think it's 30 bucks, dude. Is it 30 or 50? If it's 50, I still think it's a good game. If it's 30? What the fuck? 35. Yeah, that's a deal. That's a deal. Definitely. You're talking to a guy who constantly wastes money on video games every day. I do that shit for a living. For me, I think that's value. That's a value price. Uh, thanks, Plagued. Was there a path that I took? Doesn't seem like it. The cultists had a philosophy. Huh? The void transcends reality. And yeah, I don't give a fuck about that. I cannot do that. How much does MTX in Diablo 4 cost? I never even looked at the shop. Seventy bucks? You're kidding me. That's crazy. Could you imagine the people that actually bought that shit? Sixty-five for a horse? That's insane. That's insane. Hundred bucks? You know it costs four dollars for each skin in Tekken? And people think it's too much? But I think it's because they're just a bunch of old fogies that are used to, like, beating the game with Kazuya to unlock his costume. You know? They just want to, like, be able to unlock shit for free. They're still living in the 90s. PS1 games. Uh, thanks. 2300. What? Uh, Empire Strikes Back? Okay. Thanks. You have to aim it. <laughs> cool. See, that kind of talking I like. I don't like the kind of talking where you have to stand there and watch this shit. Like this NPC in town tell you about stuff. I prefer it to happen mid-fight. It's 
skill unlock javelin I'm level 18 whoa what did I just pick up that shrine just dropped a bunch of shit and I don't know what it does Cat, don't close your game. It's fucked. What does that mean? Don't close your game. It's fucked. Whoa, more idols. Dude, I've gotten this so many times already. It seems common. Uh, health regen, poison res, poison damage, minion damage, vitality. What about this? Melee poison slow. Now nah. I cannot do that. Just play offline. Yeah, I'm playing offline. There's no problemos, dude. Online is like one hour of gameplay and four hours of errors. <laughs> that sounds whack. I'm glad I decided to go with offline. I got level 40 online, but just got DC. That sucks. I'm sure they're gonna fix it soon. Every fucking game ever in the history of games has a shitty launch. It doesn't matter if it's like an indie dev or like NASA. Every fucking dev ever fucks that up. It also doesn't feel like this game is, even the things that they're copying, because there's such a unique take on it, it doesn't feel like they're copying it. Like this is Blessed Hammer, right? But the tree is so weird. You can do so many things with the tree. Speaking of, I just realized I have all these passive points that I didn't allocate. Good shit just sitting there. Hey, nice capital letters, you dumb fuck. Uh, uh, I don't really like you. That's like fucking seven question marks and a bunch of capital letters for no reason. Are you trying to make friends or enemies in here? Anyway, you didn't have to shoot him. He did sound pretty annoying. Remember to use the D-pad for passive points. Oh yeah, so I don't get robbed by the brain lady. Stupid hoe. Oh yeah. Yeah, I am. I am using it. Nice. No points for this. And then I got passives. How many? Two passives unspent. Uh, so at this point, do you recommend that I put points into... Oh, don't use that. Use the D-pad, you dumbass. Move this. <laughs> Thank you. Points into my paladin tree. Go full paladin. Okay. So then if that's the case. Probably this again, right? Oh, but you need one point into this to get to these. Holy icon. Uh, spell damage. Spells are for pussies. Holy symbol. When you block, cast holy symbol. Healing yourself. I haven't specced into block yet. So maybe I shouldn't do this. Isn't blessed hammer a spell? I don't think so. It didn't say spell. Under the tags. Let me check. Skills. Uh, blessed hammer. Yeah, see? Physical, throwing attacks, strength, and dexterity. If it was a spell, it would say spell. So, it's not a spell. <clears throat> it's not a spell. 
I don't think. So to get to these, I need to spec into this. And to get to this, what's this? Heaven fire. Additional spell damage. Additional. I don't want that. What's this? Divine bolt. Why am I going full uh, this again? Healing hands. Maybe for the major passives or the notable passives. <laughs> Thank you. It's not magic because it's it's not magic. It's not a spell. Oh, the shit at the end. Judgment. Ah, excuse me. Additional strength. Increased fire damage. Melee attacks. Melee attacks. So I don't want any of that shit. Chance to blind. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, valor. Healing effectiveness. Maybe Ellie Res is probably good. Uh, chance to blonde. This is damage. Uh, this is just damage. Maybe I shouldn't have even got that. It doesn't even seem that good. Maybe Ellie Res is good. I think I'm gonna go Ellie Res. 3% per point. Okay. Deal. Where are my reses? Character. Here we go. It's 75% cap, it says on top. Physical res is low. This is important and it's lower than the other ones. Interesting. Cool. Cool game. There's, this is, okay, so one thing I've noticed, look. Let's say I have my inventory open, right? My instinct on a pad tells me circle will exit you out of this. When I push circle, it exits me. But sometimes it triggers the, the like the skill that's mapped to circle. It's like it's doing two things at the same time. I wonder if that's a bug. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, thanks, Fat Sacks and Pepperoni Ranch and J Boat and Booger Supreme and Worse Launched than Apollo 1. And thanks, Zap Lee. Appreciate it. This is cool. You definitely feel powerful earlier than you do in Path of Exile. All these enemies laugh. I'm digging the game so far. <coughs> Excuse me. Kind of weird how there are no mana potions. Is, am I gathering that right? Or maybe I just didn't read in the beginning and I didn't collect my mana potion or some shit. It's always just regen, right? Or mana on hit or some other way to reget regain mana. Reget mana. Interesting. I don't think that's such a bad idea, actually. 
kind of makes me think they shouldn't even use health potions. Like, maybe healing should be just tied around some kind of skill or something. I mean, at the end of the day, what's the difference between a health potion and a skill that heals you that has a cooldown or whatever? It's like the same shit. Um, except one, like, the, the fantasy of it is different, right? I mean, it's an extra button unless you make the skill an extra button that you push. <laughs> Thank you. All the mana efficiency is in the tree, which is cool. Um, my inventory is full of stuff that is worthless, so just throw it on the floor, right? This is a two-handed. <laughs> Thank you. It says plus one to vengeance. That's a skill? Vengeance must be a skill. Crit chance, int, strength, dodge, rating. Uh-oh, what do we got? Trouble in paradise? Two dads are smooching in chat? Are you snitching on these two dudes? Love on the battlefield? Cat fight! <laughs> hey, what's going on here, guys? You need to get along. What's the problem? Are you frustrated? There's a 7 gigabyte patch? <laughs> Is it like for online multiplayer co-op cucks? The game just quadrupled in size. More skins to buy? Sweet. Uh, where would you like me to send the bleed hammered in loot filter? Interesting. Thanks. Um, um, Twitter? Do you use Twitter? What is it, a link? Just give it to me right now. Ah, excuse me. This? What the hell is this, dude? Is this an ASCII art of a dick or something? Oh, it's just a loop filter? How the fuck do I do this? Hey, what do I do with this? Save the page? Copy, paste into the game? The whole thing? All this whole fucking shit? How do you, how do you copy the whole thing? I don't even know how to copy the whole thing. How do you copy control A? Control A, Control A, right click, copy. Hey, listen, before I go and trust you, whoever gave me this, write that guy's name down. Because he could just, like, what if this is a sabotage, right? What if he just gave me this link, and then I'm about to paste it in, and this is going to be a full sabotage. Copy the text, go to the... Uh, new loop filter. Hit import from clipboard. Alright, I'm trusting you. Okay. Uh, settings. Mm, loop filter. Uh, so delete this one, right? Uh, delete filter. Delete. Okay, so now import a filter. Uh, paste clipboard contents. Holy shit. Confirm. Did it work? Holy shit. You put all these rules in? Thanks. So this is going to show me everything I ever want? Whoa. 
Optimized. Someone ban that guy. Thanks. That's sweet. That's sweet. Yeah, what a helpful bitch. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Where did you get that? Did you make it yourself or is it like available on the streets? It's from Maxroll. Hey, thanks very much, green name. You got lucky. Watch out, that shit's laced with Fent. What, the loot filter? Damn, that would be crazy. I can't even imagine that. You're just going to smoke a fucking blunt and there's fentanyl in it and you die. And they're talking about you on the fucking radio, dude. That would suck. Yeah, fuck that. That sounds whack. Hey, you gotta make sure you roll your own blunts. Hey, so there's rare items that are not showing up. And the reason those rare items are not showing up right now is because they're trash. Sweet. The game knows they're trash. Saving me time. Sweet. I have trash in my, in my inventory already. Get it out of my fucking face. Wait a minute though, but... Isn't the item that I'm using... Let's test that. Look, I'm gonna go drop this item. Oh! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh, fuck. That was... I was using that. How do I pick that up now? X. X. It's not working. L3 plus R3 is not working. Press X on the keyboard. Oh, sweet. What about on the pad, though? So, uh, well, this, this isn't, this isn't good. I mean, I, technically what that means is that there could be an upgrade on the floor, but I can't see it. Right? That's what that means. <laughs> Thank you. you need a leveling loop filter. Oh fuck, this is an endgame loot filter! I had a feeling something stinks. Okay, so what I should do then... Uh... Is go here. That's, I had a feeling that was gonna be the case. Anyone get that guy's name? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is... Uh, wait, how do you go back? This? No. Uh, try that again settings so I'm gonna go where the fuck did that shit go manage loop filters what the hell this is the same fucking thing world overlay canvas that's the loop filter that's the loop filter okay <laughs> Thank green you. button next to the drop down on top Damn, he's good. Create a new filter. So I should redo what I did before, right? Pink skull. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's really fun. I just don't know if I should go back to what I was doing before like this. Hide. Add. Rarity. Magic and normal. Add. Right? So that's this. So now I'm using this filter. And then the other one is still here. New filter. Right? <coughs> it 
exclude low level. Set to show only your class. But, uh, I guess you're probably right, huh? I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. It's good enough. Anyway, thanks. Thanks, evaluate and have a chew. Hey, Roselle, how's it going? Triple heart? I'll take it all day. Thanks. Hope you're having fun out there. Thanks, Roselle. Thanks, Magnum, Kale, and Meowmon. Whoa. Oh, sweet. What's this again? Shoes? Cooldown, recovery, speed, and strength. Hey, maybe those are pretty good. Oh, but it's one strength. And the other ones have physical res. Um, thanks, I'ma eat that. Thanks, everybody. What's this? Generic paladin leveling filter? Damn, man, you guys are bringing the heat, huh? What is this? It's different. Uh, okay, well, I'm on this screen. Should I export? I'm gonna get font now. Hit export. Copy to clipboard. Copied. Thanks. Settings. Uh, um, new filter? Oh, it's called new filter, isn't it? Damn it. God, he's dumb. Why the fuck did you name it new filter? Um, manage. Uh, new filter. Um, uh, add, uh, paste from cl clipboard. Huh? Did it work? I think it did. Show leveling armor, leveling armor. Me, what are you doing yeah. Confirm. Axe. Purple axe. Confirm. Huh? These two are named the same shit? Alright, well, whatever. Hey, what'd you say? Thanks for the links. Change the title to leveling? The title? Oh, you mean the... Ah, whatever. It's good enough. Thanks. Uh, thanks, ATP Mouth. And... Uh, everyone? I don't know. I might have missed people. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying Last Epoch. It's aw awesome. Excuse me. I like it a lot so far. I was very excited to play this. It's been a really long time since I have been like able to look forward to a game release. You got a skill slot. Cool. Skills. Oh, all right. Well, what do you recommend? Javelin? Void Cleave? Multi Strike or Smite? Holy Aura. Oh, yeah. Good idea. So, I have four points to put in Holy Aura. Any, uh, any tips, amigo? Someone steal a car while you want a car chase? You don't have to steal a car to get a car chase. You just have to commit a crime and then run. The filter was hiding rares. I don't know what you're trying to say. It's supposed to hide rares, isn't it? Useless rares. Call to arms, bottom right. Dude, call to arms is awesome, isn't it? Call to legs. I haven't found it yet. Concentration. Oh, this? Call to arms. Increased physical damage. That sounds pretty good. 10% increased damage. Where's that gonna go? 
uh, break time loot filter? Are you calling me loot filter right now? It's almost funny. Someone called me skinny fingers earlier. I thought that was pretty good. Break time skinny fingers. <laughs> That's me. Skinny fingers. Chance to ignite. Increased fire damage. Increased attack and cast speed. That sounds bueno. Increased throwing attack damage and increased stun chance. That sounds bueno too. Throwing attack speed and a chance to gain haste for one second on hit. Haste, huh? More information. What? Where'd you go? Haste is a buff that grants 30% increased movement speed. All right. Holy Aura active duration lasts longer, but Holy Aura's cooldown lasts longer and it's passive. What else you got? Crit chance. Hey, this game's pretty cool. I'm gonna do this, call to arms. Oh, but don't use that, use the D-pad. Uh, I could do one more and that unlocks this 3% attack speed per point hey attack speed works on throwing right like uh, hammer is a throwing uh, ability does that count as attack speed it has to be throwing attack speed 3rowing attack damage throwing attack speed okay got it thanks and this needs two points here to get to it got it thanks <coughs> you can enter throwing into the top right search and all the nodes will light up thanks cool ideas you guys are pros at this um for shield charge i've just been putting them into mana cost reduction or efficiency maybe i should just continue damn i think this shit gets bogged like crazy sometimes no what am i tripping dude am i tripping with my shoes off okay come on man that was bugged i tried 10 times to do that and it didn't work uh, I think I want mana cost reduction again. Break time, hasho show. Hold on. It's not sticky buttons, pendejo. It's the devs. Okay, I applied all of those. And I have passives. Uh, two unspecked passives. Unspent. Uh, Ellie Rez. Yeah. Excuse me. Try to leave the cursor out of the window. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Attunement. Maybe attunement is probably good. It gives me mana, doesn't it? I'll get Ellie Res and attunement. Bunch of tryhards in champ. Shut up, bitch. Yeah, it's not going to give me... Attunement is not going to give me scaling, but it's going to give me more mana, isn't it? I guess maybe I should consider going into block now. Block effectiveness and block chance. I haven't specced into blocking at all this whole time, but I haven't felt like I've needed to. Physical damage. I guess I'll just get this. And that unlocked. Healing hands. Is this a passive? It must be. It's a passive tree. 
heals all allies in the target area. Wait a minute. Do I have to do this ability? Mana cost? This is like a skill that you actively have to do? Weird. So I don't want it, right? It's for multiplayer. Interesting. Cool. I'm trying out this new loot filter. Damn, am I really gonna keep playing? Like, take a break and come back and play more? Remember earlier, you guys didn't think I'd last longer than three hours. Remember that? I guess that answers whether or not I'm having fun. Um... Yeah, all right, fuck it. I'll do that. I'm down. That was a trick to make you play more? Well, I mean, it didn't feel like a trick because uh, you've already told me that and I still want to play more. When you activate your aura, you increase your attack speed. Yeah, I was using it against enemies sometimes. I just have to remember the aura. This is fun. I like this game. Thanks, Gaffy. ATP Mouth and Hoax He or some shit. Thanks, bros. Hope everyone's having fun too. Like with you know, as well as me. <coughs> What'd you say? Brother. Thanks, rollback hairline. Nice funny joke you got there. Must get all the ladies with that sense of humor, amigo. Mm, what song's this? Oh yeah. I'll be back in five to seven. Lightning! <laughs> and shit. Poof. That song is great. I like that song a lot. Thanks, Jujitsu, Yellow Belt, and Rollback Hairline. Thanks again. Thanks, Gaffy. Let's go time. That was quick, was it? I couldn't even tell. I'm going on like five hours or some shit, dude. You can tell I like the game. Two a.m. and I still want to play. Uh, what? You have to go to school tomorrow or something, kid? That's pretty cool. You know, there are in some ways the pad support is better than Poe because you know how you have to stutter step in games like this. You like cast and move and cast and move. In this game, with a pad, if you hold the direction, it automatically casts and moves. That doesn't happen in PoE. If you hold a direction and hold down the button in PoE, you just throw the button. The button supersedes the direction and you don't move. This automatically stutter steps for you if you hold the direction and hold down the button. It's fucking sweet. What's the longest you've ever streamed? I think 12 hours. Like all at once. Twelve ish. But it's been rare, maybe once or twice ever. Usually I after four hours I stop wanting to talk. Uh but I sometimes stream longer than four hours. And sometimes shorter. So I'm using the leveling loot filter now. I'm trusting it. So nothing's dropping because I'm using this loot filter. Play till end game or else. Damn, that's the kind of shit I ban people for. Just letting you know in case you get banned. Letting you know. Don't ban him. I'm just kidding. You got lucky, though. Man, it's sweet how that lasts forever until you hit a wall. 
with the same mana cost. I think this game's pad support's pretty good so far. A couple of bugs, but it's really good so far. Someone said that the CEO of the company that makes this game is a pad player. So like the devs have to make uh, pad support good or else they'll get fired. Cool idea. Greetings. I'll do it. Damn, that just opened up all these quests on the right. Yeah, I'm going to try it on the Steam Deck later tonight. I'll report back tomorrow on how it is. I'm going to try it. I got a bunch of stuff. Oh, you can push this button. Transfer materials. And then you can also... Like, I'm supposed to buy that... <laughs> Thank you. Shattering rune. Runes of shattering. What do we have here? Physical res goes down. Cool down goes up. Uh, what about here? Movement speed. I like movement speed. Let's do this one. Hey, this guy's got some speed on him now. All right. Uh, and then I was going to look at this because I have all these side quests activated now. Do you think I should go try and do some? Or maybe they're turn-ins. Travel? Hello? Why not? Oh, that's where you are, Pandejo. Right? I can't even fucking tell. I've never been there. If there's a blue thing around it, maybe that's a like a, something I need to turn in. Yeah, they give you passive points and idle slots, I know. Wait a minute, so I came to this destination thinking there was a turn in here, but there isn't, huh? The blue thing means you've been there. It doesn't mean there's a turn in. The thing that's a turn in is, oh look, Divine Era. Can you travel back to the Divine Era? Just like that? You can! You just push a button and you travel through time. Sweet. Etera's blessing. I'm sorry for your loss. All right, turned in. So all the other quests that are active are in the ruined era, and they're up here and over here. So go here. Cool. Uh, what is this, dude? Can't just be putting links in my shit, dude. What the hell is this? Oh, yeah, I saw that. The Yoshimitsu thing? Is that, like, a mod? Yeah, I don't like when people put links in my chat, because then I gotta click them. You know? I can't just, like, look at a link in my chat. And then, like, not click it. <laughs> Thank you. And I don't like using my mouse, you know? Because mouses are for pussies. Uh, thanks, Frankov and Seronis. Oh, there's a blue thing right here. Oh, this guy's gonna give me a quest, huh? Are there any other quests in this game that are, like, um... Uh, you know, like... If you do it wrong, you'll get the wrong reward? Like a choice quest? Because I did experience one so far. The one for the gloves. Whoa, you can use shield charge in town? Get the fuck out of here. This game's tight. Why the hell can I not do that in other games, dude? I do that. You got lucky devs. I cannot do that. Only an offline? Wow, online sucks in this game, huh? That's crazy. Well, I hope it starts working for you soon, amigos.
Dude, I'm having a good day. I just looked at the chat. First death. What do you get for dying? I mean, what happens for dying? You've been slain. Nothing? It's a kid's game? You lose anything? Death report? You're extinct. I became extinct. That's a kid's game. Don't do that. You don't even lose experience or nothing? In maps, you lose the reward, but no XP loss. Well, losing a reward is a loss. All right, cool. At least there's some consequence. I usually prefer it if there's some kind of consequence. I think I like the PoE system where you lose experience. I guess that's the same as Diablo 2. Kill you? Void centipede? Symbol of hope. Okay, cool. I'm pretty much trusting this loot filter to not be fucking me over. I guess it's like, what's the worst that could happen? You'll miss a couple of leveling items, who cares? Hey, speaking of, you know, I just recently watched, um... I recently watched Dune Part 1, and I liked it a lot. And people were saying that Part 2 is out, or is coming out soon. You guys know when that comes out? I liked it a lot. It was cool. March 1st. Wow, that's pretty soon. Nice. It's a it's a it's two movies, right? It's not three movies? Is it a trilogy? Or more? It's three? Get the fuck out. That's sick. Wow, that's sick. I didn't know that. Neat. I'm hype about that. You finna read the book? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure thing. What are you, a librarian? Yeah, right. Read the book? Lol, dude. Uh, that's pretty cool. Sounds exciting. My friend Dan told me that he read the books when he was a kid and he liked them. And he thought that there's no way they'd be able to turn it into a movie, but he liked the movie too. Shit ton of shards to the right of the waypoint. Oh, thanks. I almost missed that. Oh, damn. There's more down here. What the fuck, dude? It's kind of hard to... It's kind of easy to miss items, huh? Maybe it's because my hammers kill stuff off screen. Small font, yeah, I noticed that. The biggest bummer for me about this game is that it's not on console. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to play this game in the living room. How am I going to do that? What does gifting mean? Gift inventory? What the fuck does this mean? Gift inventory. What the hell? Uh, stream it with Steam Link. Stream it from what to what? Oh, to another computer. 
If you play on Steam Deck, you have to use Proton Experimental. What the fuck is Proton Experimental? I want to play on Steam Deck tonight. Oops. He's just making shit up? <laughs> I don't know what Proton Experimental means. Cool, if you're just making shit up, that's pretty funny. <laughs> It's G13 classified, dude. That's just G13 classified. Farewell. You know? Who are you? Go on. Shut up, bitch. Who are you? Thanks, X and RV and Frankov. Thanks for all the subs. I cannot do that. Ever watch Primer? I don't know. I like time travel movies. Hey, chat room, what do you think about this guy's shitty recommendation? Is Primer good? I haven't picked up a single item since I activated that loot filter, in case you haven't noticed. The shit's for nerds. Very good. It's alright. You guys need to make up your minds. You think I'll like it? Maybe I've seen it. Primer. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, this game is tight. This game is tight. Got an item. That's a that's a drop that showed up on my loot filter. Let's check it out. Shoes, physical res. These shoes suck. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'll lose movement speed, health, and int. Uh, no, the shoes that I took off have more physical res than that. These thirteen physical res, and two strength. Why am I not wearing these? Oh, because of the movement speed. Fuck. Uh, thanks, Chef Goonzer. Uh, and Engine 107 and Doom Train and Tall Grund. Uh, let me look that movie up. What's it called again? Um, Primer. Primer movie. Uh, this doesn't look familiar, does it? 2004? You've been asked about it a lot. You thought it sucked. Really? I've seen this? I've seen this? Bill and Ted is a better time travel movie? I believe that. Bill and Ted's sick, dude. I like the way they play air guitar when they get hype and guitar sounds come out. That shit's tight. You know in movies like Bill and Ted and in shows like Beavis and Butthead, it's weird how they never smoke reefer, right? But it's so obvious that they're fucking Green Beret stoners. Isn't that weird? Beavis and Butthead never smoke reefer either. That 70s show? I never watched that. Is that how it was too? Maybe. 
Maybe it's like they're trying to not be like a uh, promoting drug use. Wonder what happened to Keanu Reeves after Bill and Ted's? You're the kind of guy I don't like. I can already tell. I can tell I don't like you. Damn, I like these enemies though. The ones that laugh their asses off. Those guys are cool. Chang, level 22. Paladin coming through. like we got some more trouble in paradise there's been all kinds of cat fights in the chat today wonder what that's Thank about you. I'm just winging it I haven't looked at any build guides but I did look at some system guides so I could understand how crafting works and uh, what else did I look at Crafting. Oh, and I, I kind of looked at how the, you know, like the rules of the game are, respecking rules and shit like that. But I haven't looked at a guide yet. I just knew that I wanted a hammer throw paladin. How about you? Are you using a guide? The thing is, like, initially I was thinking about using a guide, and then everyone in my chat room was like, guides are for pussies. And I figured, you know... They're right. No offense to you if you're using one, but... They have a good point. Guides are for pussies. Know what I mean? Especially in a game like this. It's not necessary, you know? As long as you can just use regular logic and read a little bit. And I'm not even... For me, reading is like a fucking Rubik's Cube, but... No problem, I could handle it. I got this. I could not do that. It seems like he stops running when he's on stairs. <laughs> but maybe I'm tripping. Damn, why'd I go so fast there? What the fuck? All of a sudden I went crazy fast. Hey, thanks for that hillbilly train. Thanks for all the subs and whatnot. Oh, you think that was haste? I felt forced to use a cheat sheet. Rune Master has a combo system for spells. Too many to remember. I mean, listen, dude, whatever you got to tell yourself to feel better about it, it doesn't really change the facts, all right? Uh, anyway, enjoy that guide, amigo. <laughs> ah. Hmm. That's the kind of build I would not have picked because you can't, you have to use a guide. Or at the very least, you have to tell other people that you have to use a guide. <laughs> know what I mean? I would have. I, I wanted to pick a build that you can like uh, not worry about, and that's what was recommended. It makes me feel better to pretend I'm not a bitch. It makes me feel better to pretend that too. So we can all feel good. Cool. Uh, oh, this goes that way. 
Obviously, I'm just kidding. I mean, dude, whatever. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> ah. Still funny, though. I don't care how you play. I think that everyone should play however they want. The thing, though, in this game is that you can respect pretty freely. It costs you a little bit of gold, but it's not like much. Oh, I just got shot by some shit. What is this thing? Big ass green bong. Cool. Yeah, it's a neat game. I would recommend it. 35 bucks all day, dude. 35 bucks all day. That's for sure. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. Well now. <laughs> What the hell was that guy laughing at, dude? What's so funny? I wonder if they regret charging 35 bucks. That's a weird thing to say. I mean, the game is four years old. Even if they charged 70 bucks at launch, it's still four years old. Their fault for putting it out in early access. You know they do lol? Man, fuck that, dude. They can't do that. No way. I mean, they could do 50, I guess, but not full price. No way. Even if it's worth it. I'm not saying it's not worth it. I'm saying you can't do that with an early access game. You're going to hell if you do that. Not that devs give a fuck where they go. Otherwise, they wouldn't all be bitches. $20 for early access? Really? <coughs> what is he like? Let me through? Oh, nice. Cool. I was hoping that would happen cultist camp Lich is so sick dude you know what's really cool a bunch of random people have come in here saying like talking about their build that makes them feel like it's really sick which means everyone playing is having fun that's cool I, if you asked me like let's say I wasn't streaming and then I went into your stream I'd be like dude Hammer Throw Paladin is fucking sick. That's what I would say. After my experience today, like, dude, it's been really fun and, and like, powerful. You know? That's what I would say in your chat. Rune Master? Yeah, there's so many different builds too. It's interesting how much is in this game when there's only five character classes. But yeah, each one has ascendancies. Speaking of, man, why didn't you guys say nothing? I got all these fucking points sitting around here not getting used. Uh, let's see here. I think I want the hammers to circle around me. What do you think? I haven't decided yet what I want. And also, you know, I have a question. So this says uh, Iron Spiral, right? They, they fire in a circle. But this one says, uh, are now thrown in a Nova. Can you have both? Thrown in a Nova doesn't seem like it would... Uh, Double extra projectiles. I didn't see all that. I picked it. I picked it. Oh, shit. 
So it's coming out in a flat wave instead of like uh uh you know like it's got it's it's angles different. Mmm. All right, cool. Cool. Uh let's see. Okay, I have more points. Uh this shit. So I don't know what else to do with this since I'm only using it for mobility. This seems terrible. When shield charge, when shield rush ends, you return to the position when you used it from. I don't want that. I want to be able to use it for a movement skill. So this whole side of the tree, the right side, can suck a cocky. I don't want that. What's this? You take less damage. Shield rush increases chance to stun. Is to make it a ranged DPS skill, I guess. Yeah, I get what it's for, but it's not for me. I get what it's for. It's just not for me, is what I'm saying. This is... <coughs> Deal more damage. Deal more damage. Uh, maybe one of them is like a buff. What else synergizes with hammer throw? I don't know. This is what happens when you don't use a guide. You have to figure it out. It's what uh, some call fun. Uh, void beam. Void beam. It seems like most of them are more damaged, so I'm going to go with this one. Uh, but I, for some reason, once again... See? I wasn't able to allocate it until I moved the mouse to it. That was fucking stoner shit. Anyway, uh, I could get this now too. Increased chance to stun enemies. But I'll do this first. Okay, so now I have two points for this shit. So I can go all the way over here if I want to. Right? Oh, I want this. Throw attack speed. And throw damage or throw attack speed. I think I want damage. Cool. This game is sick. I have two unused points for the Paladin. Anyone know what the dope Paladin... Uh... Um... Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? Oh, are you talking about uh-oh because of some asshole in the chat? Oh, okay, I don't care about that. Um, you guys know uh, which one of these is super tight? Phoenix Strike. That's melee. That's melee. Valor. 15 per point. Healing effectiveness, 5% per point. Yeah, I like this game a lot. Max out conviction. Uh, all right. I listen to you. Holy Nova. For Paladin, go health and elemental damage because of the passive Thank mastery you. bonus. I mean, I, you know, a guy earlier told me to do bleed because bleed scales with physical. That sounds like it makes more sense than what you said, but maybe you're right. Health and elemental damage? Okay. It's bleed and elemental. Ooh. Is this better than D4? Come on, man. Is that a joke? Come on, dude. D4 has been out for like fucking four months and everyone hates it. This game's been out for four years and everyone loves it. You tell me which is better.
Easiest thing I've ever done in my life. Get on, bitch. Man, this loot filter is definitely uh, making my penis soft, though. I'm getting no droppings. But, I mean, that's a good thing. Because that means all the droppings were going to be caca. I'm hoping... I'm kind of trusting this loot filter. It's a leveling loot filter. Uh, thanks, Rook Zero and Soldier Boy and Gork. Thanks, man. Thanks, Dr. Honker and Tough Guy and Gabriel and Mikey and Antonio. Hope you're all having fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Spiffy Camel. Whoa, why did you go that way? I didn't authorize that. It's like you bounced off the wall. Yeah, I think that I concur. This game's tight. I agree with you. I was skeptical, but it's quite fun. Without question, more fun than I've had playing Tekken 8 so far. For half the price. Yeah, I like the laughs too. Jack don't make it till you order it. Hey. Where am I going? <laughs> Built to satisfy. <laughs> That song is too good, dude. The song is way too good. Meat, cheese. Man, this game is sweet. The like it's like they Copy the skill from the other game, but make it the way you want it to be in the other game. Like, I always wanted Shield Charge to just keep going and not keep costing me mana every step I take. You know? And I always wanted, like, these are all things that I want in the other game, and they're in this game. It's like they copied it, but made it better than the game that it's copied from. Which is how copying should go, really. That's when you call it inspiration. I mean, Halls of Torment is basically a huge ripoff of Vampire Survivor, but it shits on Vampire Survivor. I'm never playing Vampire Survivor again. No offense to the devs, but you got shit on, dude. You got shit on by Halls of Torment. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's when they need to make Vampire Survivor 2. You know? Get shitted on. I cannot do that. <laughs> what the hell is he laughing at? Do that. I cannot do that. 
Dude, these enemies are sick. Just telling each other jokes and shit. game uh did Ares get plugged on while playing t8 or is the heat system just ass i hate you dudes shut the fuck up uh is there a way to what uh way to make hammers follow you yeah i'm i'm waiting to do that that's one of the things i'm gonna do soon Tekken fans? Yeah, I know. They're so annoying, dude. Not much you could do about it. Other than ban them and call them annoying. Yeah, the hammers can follow you. I haven't gotten that point yet, but I will. Hey, that seems like a unique or some shit. Something special about that enemy. Treasure. Oh! Oh! What are these things? I just dropped stuff. I dropped a set hat. The last bear's lament. Is this better than the hat I'm wearing? A little. Green is a set item. I'm gonna wear it. And I got this thing. What's this thing? Tomb of El Tome of Elements. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's it goes in that slot. 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 Hey, is this good? It's a mage item, but I can use it. I'm going to use it. It's for Ellie damage. I cannot do that. This is sick, man. Nice to have something new to play. I cannot do that. <laughs> Thank you. So haste is like onslaught. And I have like onslaught on kill. But I guess onslaught gives you attack speed. Haste is just movement speed. You're getting influenced? Don't let it happen, man. There's nothing you want less than to be influenced, dude. You don't want that. Don't get influenced. I'm totally kidding, of course. Getting influenced is like the best way to live your life, dude. People talk about it like it's a bad thing, but anytime I'm gonna make a purchase, I mean, a minute ago, some jerk off recommended some shitty movie, and immediately, what did I do? Chat room, influence me. Is that shit a good movie or not? And you guys saved me. I was about to take this asshole's recommendation and watch that shitty ass movie. But the chat room, they influenced me. Hello? That's the way it is, man. Yesterday, I had delicious Korean fried chicken for dinner. You think I came up with that idea by myself? No. Some fucking asshole in the chat started talking about that shit. And then I had to do it. And it was delicious. So, do the math. Getting influenced isn't a bad thing. It's a good thing. Speaking of influence, didn't you influence me into Cosmic Crisp... 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 Cosmic Crisp Apples? Riot Kitty? 
I got influence right there. That's not my favorite apple. Think about it, dude. How are you ever going to find out anything unless you get influenced? <coughs> Cosmic Crisp is hella good. Honey Crisp is good too, but Cosmic's top. Huh. Gotta try Cosmic. It's good. I recommend it. They're like... All of the characteristics you want in an apple. They're like really juicy and really crisp. Unlike those soft, red, delicious assholes. Those are so shitty, dude. They're, they're crispy and juicy. Man, this game has nice sound effects. Korean pears are better? What do you mean better? Pears and apples are not the same. You're sounding like a bigot. Uh, Korean pears are really good though. Yeah, this game's tight. I recommend it. 35 bucks all day. Just look at how long I've been streaming. You ever seen me stream Tekken 8 this long? Maybe on the first day. After an hour and a half of playing Tekken 8 online, I'm ready to jump off a fucking bridge, dude. I cannot do that. Poisoned. Poison, poison. Cool. My blood's boiling. How do you like the loot filters? Fucking genius idea. Every other game needs a default simple loot filter. That's surprising that it's not a standard. I feel like it should be an industry standard, a loot filter. All games should have that. And maybe all games will have that because this game has it now. There are other parts of this game that PoE, the devs of PoE said like, well, you know, up until now, we were hard-headed about it, but now we're going to have to change. Literally because of this game. That's like, uh, almost like a compliment. If you think about that. To this game. Yeah, pushing devs to, like, take that shit to the next level. That's awesome. Competition is healthy. That's how you get better in anything. So... I'm feeling it. I'm feeling that shit. The last Epoch devs are homies with the PoE devs. Not for long. Making them look bad, dude. I think that it's a good thing. I think the PoE devs are going to step up their game to, like... Dude, I mean, what do you think? Imagine if you your only competition was Diablo 4. You would never do anything, dude. Fuck, man. I wouldn't put a loot filter in my game either. If Diablo 4 is my only competition, I'm about to take a couple years off. It's like the shittiest fucking competition on Earth. Their only other competition is basically... A 30 year old game, Diablo 2. That's it. Too heavy. Too heavy? What 
the fuck, dude? Too heavy. God damn, what is all this shit in my inventory? Whoa, what's this? 26 health? How the fuck did I pick up a blue item when that shit is not even showing up on my filter? Doesn't even make sense. How did I pick up a blue item? Someone just got shot for 10k. What'd you do? Why is your microphone green? That was your first comment. Is that guy funny or is that guy a moron? You funny moron. I guess I won't ban you for that. Damn. That's it. The audience has spoken. Zero out of ten. He's banned. Wow, did you see that? Was that because of haste? Fucking flew right there. This game definitely makes D4 look bad, that's for sure. If it doesn't make PoE look bad, it definitely makes D4 look like a joke, dude. This game is made by 90 morons. D4 took like 5,000 idiots to fuck up. There's like an entire army of fucking Mordor's army is fucking uh, preparing for war. These dumbasses couldn't get that shit right. 90 random dads outdid an entire army. It's like that movie 300. How the hell did they do that, dude? Thousands? It's that movie 300, man. These devs are crazy. Open tome. Turn to page 53. Flip to end. Take tome. Give me that shit, bitch. Two treasure chests with my name all over them. Man, I love how if you pick up one crafting material in a group of them, they all get picked up. That shit's making me nut. It automatically picks up every crafting material in that group of droppings. You got lucky, devs. You got hella lucky. You guys will fuck up Last Epoch 2 guaranteed. You missed a chest? Uh, too late now. You can't go back. It's gone, right? In this game. Like, when you leave and then come back, all the loot on the floor is gone and the whole area becomes, uh, what do you call it? A new instance. Someone told me that earlier. So you gotta watch out towards end game. Take a break, bro. I really should stop streaming, dude. I've been playing this whole time. That's crazy. I could feel it in my voice. You want me to go here? <coughs> Six hour shift. Now I just probably what I'll do is I'll order some food, I'll get some air, and then I'll try and set up my Steam Deck to see how that works. And uh, if not, if that doesn't work, then I'll probably play in this room, I guess. Either I don't really feel like setting up a whole computer tonight, but I think the ultimate strategy will be to put my old streaming computer in my living room and set it up so I could play that on a pad and that way I can play in my living room where it's comfortable. I do that. You know, like on the couch. Level 25. Sweet. Probably won't even be that hard to set up, and I think I have everything I need. 
Yeah, new points. I know. I was just looking for a waypoint or something so I can get to the town. But I know I have a couple of passives. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Panics and Hua and Hemp Mine. And thanks, Zesquil and Axe Stars. And who did I miss? Lorfell, Bonk, Damage Incorporated, uh, Meaty Cheesy Boys. Thanks. Hey, I got an item. Greaves again. Cooldown recovery, dexterity, and whatever. Uh, maybe that's good. Dexterity is damage for my character, I think. And cooldown recovery and void resistance. Ah, fuck it. Who cares? I cannot do that. Those boots turned into a unique earlier are actually good for the movement speed. They give you try them at level 30. Yeah, I will. I was planning on using them when I got to the level. That thing I mentioned earlier, how like you know in PoE, if you hold on on pad, if you hold a direction and then push a button, in PoE you stand still. In this game, it automatically stutter steps for you. That is so amazing it just makes the the it's so much more comfortable all you have to do is hold a button and the direction and it stutter steps for you it's so much more comfortable dude instead of having to like tap the button let go of the button in intervals that's really a big deal stutter stepping is like how you play these games Fucking tight. Very convenient for pad. I cannot do that. And you know, little additions and little things like that are what make me think, wow, this is gonna be a cool game. Because they're very, like, that's the type of detail that you, f I feel like you wouldn't even see it on a review. Like, you would have to play the game yourself to notice things like that. <coughs> yeah, that's cool. I'm hype. <clears throat> I'm hype about this game. Sucks that online isn't working, but I guess every game launch has a shitty online server situation. It's always the case. Without fail. I think yesterday, when I was talking to NoPants, he was talking about this game. And he was like, is it going to be worth it to play at 9am? And I was like, there's no way it's going to work. And I was kind of half kidding. But... I was right, and it's the way it is. You don't even have to be a fucking clairvoyant. It's never going to work. You will make money every time if you bet on that. That shit never works. Then why do you think I hate on dev so much? What, do you think I'm just an asshole? No, man. Devs fucking, they're bitches. You know? They can never get that shit right on launch, man. Imagine if you fucking ask someone to do a job for you, you know, any kind of job. Give me a haircut or whatever, but they can't do it for you. Well, hello, are you, uh, do you cut hair or not? Is this game coming out on this day or not? Oh, you know, the pandemic and all. Give them a break. You could travel through time. In this game go here you didn't kill the boss there's a boss in here all right thanks I'll beat his ass real quick I guess oh this guy you call this loser a boss let me cut this bitch in half real quick with some hammers <laughs> thank you
And that's how it's done. Damn, this lube filter is making my penis soft. That guy didn't even drop anything. What button is it on a... On a... Con on, what is it? X? Hey, what button made it so that you could see stuff on the ground? How come I don't see it? Oh, there we go. Do you know if that button exists for a uh, pad? Yeah. Like, can I do something with my pad to do that? It don't weak. L3 and all, R3 doesn't do that. Look, I'll show you. What L3 and R3 does is it hides everything completely. So look, this is X, right? Okay, this is normal. Stop fucking making a portal. Okay, this is normal, right? If I push X, it shows the item. If I let go of X, it doesn't show the item. But let's say I'm not using a loop filter, right? Pretend like I'm not using a loop filter. So that's how it would look if I wasn't using a loop filter, right? Well, when you hit first R3 and then L3, what it does is it removes all items off the floor. They're gone, even if you push X. Kind of like in PoE, you know, when you're fighting and there's a ton of items on the ground, but you can't see anything. So you kind of need to turn them all off so that you can fight. That's what that does. It's not the same thing though. There's no X button as far as I know. I cannot do that. Or at least, you know, I haven't seen one yet. Pretty damn cool. So far, I would say I'm impressed. Can you not travel here or something? Oh, it's too far, maybe. To see them? No? Where are the waypoints? Ah, there they are. Here. <coughs> I wonder if it's key bindable? Possibly. You can change the controller options. I didn't fuck with it yet. Uh... I haven't really messed with any of that. Uh, you guys just sell these idols that you don't use as long as they don't have uh, like Ellie res on them. I have all these idols. Um, you guys just get rid of them? Cast speed, physical resistance. It seems good. Physical resistance is good, I think. Man, this game rocks. Yeah, I like it. I'm using a loop filter, yeah. Did you enjoy Dune? Yeah, I loved it. It was really cool. I had a feeling I would. Because everyone said that it looks really cool. Uh, but it's boring. And... I love things that look cool. And I don't usually get bored when it's a good movie. Why is your camera green? Hey, welcome to the stream. 32 seconds ago. I should ban you, dude. You've only been here 32 seconds. You're already asking questions that start with why. What do you think? I owe you a fucking answer. I've never even seen you before. You're brand new here. God, you sound like a bitch. Anyway, welcome to the stream. Um, forget what I was saying. I need to be level 30 to use these shoes. I should take them with me. And I should also sell stuff. Minus 50 armor, plus 88 strength. Put this over here. That's crazy, man. I've been playing this whole time. It feels like I barely even started. Um, I'm having a good time. Do not dwell on regrets. Cool accent. May I a smile upon you? Farewell. See ya. 
Damn, I got all kinds of points, dude. I'll allocate those later. Man, that was sick. That was one of my favorite streams. Uh, I, I enjoyed that a lot. Thanks for all that advice and shit, everybody. Thanks, Pobega and Extreme Noise Dan and Nightmare Cast and Panics and Hua. That was really fun. I recommend the game and I also like Dune. And I'm going to eat something good for dinner to just kind of like polish off an excellent day. That was very fun. Um, what is today? I think I'll be back tomorrow. I'm probably going to play more of this. I mean, why not? It's awesome after all. Thanks very much, everybody, for all the advice and, of course, generosity and good company. That was really cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure I thanked everybody. I will see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day, will ya? Good luck with your droppings and shit. Will Rendezvous back here tomorrow? You could tell me all the secret strats you discovered, and then I'll take credit for them. Scrub. Take it easy, everybody. Thanks again. See ya. Lightning! <laughs> Yeah.